All right, so we are currently live recording uh, Nidal here. Uh, this is uh, for those of you watching the VOD on YouTube. Uh, I kind of had a busy week. I'm working on a special video that's uh, a little bit uh, more heavily scripted than my regular types of videos, so it's taking a bit more time. And since I didn't have time to put a, a video for Nidal this week, I'm doing a live stream. And uh, well, I guess if you're watching this on YouTube, things went well, uh, even though I just crashed OBS uh, a second ago off camera, uh, off camera for those of you watching later. So uh, yeah, welcome, welcome to Nidal. As uh, I was saying a second ago to chat, I'm not entirely sure what, uh, what I'm going to be doing in terms of, because uh, like I literally just load up the save from the last thing we did, which was this uh, lovely little suburb neighborhood right here. And um, one of the things that I noticed uh, in the previous uh, in the previous video, uh, some of the comments about this area that I wanted to address, is the fact that um, some of these buildings might be a bit too tall. Uh, a lot of people are pointing out that cities in Europe tend to go no higher than their highest church or landmark, which in this case is actually probably this clock. Actually, I don't know. I think the church is actually slightly taller, right? It kind of looks like it's, I mean, obviously perspective here won't help, but I mean, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just positioning the camera there. It makes no sense. But um, so what I think I was going to do, instead of going this height, I may just go this height and obviously get some fancier buildings. Uh, these are all vanilla, by the way. Um, which these ones I actually really like, but this three tall ones, not a huge fan of. So we're going to start by getting rid of those. Because I don't think... Let's bring up the game sounds. There we go. And uh, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it pretty clean like that, not go super crazy with things. But I think that kind of uh, skyline view of the city looks uh, looks pretty good for what we're trying to achieve here. And that way we don't obfuscate or obscure or steal the thunder from this giant church. Uh, for some reason, the view count, yeah, I think it's not updated fast enough. We had like 100 people <laughs> watching a second ago. And since OBS crashed, I think it went like to half of that. That's crazy. Anyways. Um, awesome. This is your first time watching you live? Well, well, thank you. Welcome to the stream. Josh, Josh is here as well. Josh619, how's it going, sir? Welcome to the stream again. Um, I was just streaming last night, so I see a lot of familiar names. I was streaming uh, Minecraft last night. Anyways, uh, let's see, what should we do? Because uh, obviously I didn't go, oh, you know what? I want to just check it out because I did subscribe to this thing and I didn't actually uh, try them out as, of now, let's see, what would be a, oh, here, okay. So check this out, let's see if we can find it. I got uh, those like hatch lines, yeah, these ones. This is so cool. Let's see how these uh, actually look like. Let's turn that off, turn that off. Something like that. Can we erase this up? Yes, we can. Actually, let's just have it aligned to this is epic. I kind of want to move all of these things. So let's go that and that. Probably not that node. Let's just move this here just momentarily. I need a bigger church. Yeah, like a like a 30 story high church. Yeah, I guess that will solve both problems, huh? Uh, all right, let's see if we can get this aligned there. Okay, you slightly aligned to like the top of the curve as opposed to like the bottom part, but it's fine. Dude, this looks really cool. Let's see. And it keeps adding more of the uh, of the markings and the in-betweens. That's very interesting. Have you guys tried this before? It came out on the workshop like a couple days ago. Like this week, even. All right, let's see if we can curve this up. I'm pretty sure we can. 
did I mean I, I haven't done like a great job at aligning aligning it aligning it but I mean that looks awesome let's see if we can actually get the tangent right here just so that things look a little bit better let's bring the music up just a touch yeah just checking my my mixer make sure that all my channels are working fine um, I think I want to select this other node let's try that again thing is we're coming from a double line and transitioning into that I feel like it's a little bit narrow let's see do what what else do we have here because maybe this works better We can straight up align it to that. See, this one is a bit thicker. What does this one do? This one is just like straight up hash lines. Very interesting. So I guess if I use this, I would actually have to add my own lines. Uh, what's the name, of, the name of this guy? Tokachi. I think these are like Japanese style, perhaps? There we go, okay. So these are the, the five flavors of this mod. Dude, I'm really excited about this. I might actually swap it for this one. Let's get this segment selected if I can. There we go. You should use those IT Guster? IT Guster? What is that? IT Guster thingy buildings. Do I have that in my assets? Or is that a typo? I don't think it's that. Electric car factory. Yeah, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the church is way too old for that area. Um, maybe. What if it got all bombed around and they sort of rebuilt this in a modern fashion? I mean, the buildings kind of around it are kind of old. The only new thing in this area is sort of this giant hospital. But I, I want to have that mix of like new and old. And honestly, I mean, you know, like I'm not being super uh, conscious about the age of things. I'm trying to make things that look like okay, like not completely out of place. And I don't think the church is completely out of place, so. See, the, yeah, this one is so much better. All right, so let's do that. And uh, let's get this segment curved enough. Like, I get a lot of comments from people saying like, oh, that's like not realistic because like in this one city, like they don't do it that way. Um, and, and I'm not saying that's your, your type of comment but like I do get a lot of comments from from people like wanting me to be like oh like there's this law on this line and the this in this country that doesn't prevent or prevents like buildings from looking this way in certain areas I'm like yeah like I, you're not wrong but I'm not going for that level of realism like I'm not trying to do like city planning simulator here just something that looks like it belongs ish Ho hopefully that's okay <laughs> All right, let's get some some line decals in here. Actually, I kind of hid everything <laughs> everything down here. Maybe I can just simply bring it back, right? Yeah, there we go. Already already made this. I could have could have done that uh, thing in the middle. Now the curves don't match, but we might be able to get this looking good somehow with a little bit of uh, trial and error let's see select uh, I guess yeah now it's, we don't necessarily need nose now does anyone remember what the shortcut is in move it I don't know if cuboid is in the chat but maybe he can remind me uh, there's like a like alt or something like that that allows you to select what's underneath uh, apparently it's not alt Shift-Alt, maybe? Nope. 
So like I'm select, I'm hovering this line, which I, I want to select the thin line, but obviously trying to select the main road. I know Movit has like a key modifier that allows you to select what's underneath it. But yeah, I, can, I don't, can't seem to figure it out. Yeah, I might, I might just be able to. Nope, not that. <laughs> just like the notes. Uh, let's do this maybe outside of here. It might be easier. Man, this is hard. So many networks. Um, sure. No, that's not what I wanted. Okay, there must be an easier way of doing this. I may be overthinking the situation just a little bit. Hang on. If we... Also, I don't know why I'm rotating my head. Like, that will help in any way, shape, or form. There we go. All right. So we got that there. Which obviously sort of deal the align that thing. So we can do that. Also, these shouldn't, like, not necessarily need to be perfectly aligned with one another. In fact, I kind of like having a tiny gap between those. So we can do something like this, for example. Something like that works. And now I can go in and tweak that just ever so slightly. Not that. You know what would be really cool? If you can actually, let's say I want this node to not move ever, and I could just select it and lock it or something like that. This looks complicated. Yeah, just adding like one tiny line. It's so complicated. Um, so I don't want this. And uh, yeah, now I have like a cluster of things here that I don't necessarily want. Let me retract this one. Bring back this one here. We're gonna do it in steps. So those kind of match, I'm okay with that. And now, should be able to just simply notch this in place. Something like that. I mean, I, I kind of like it. I think I think that works. So all we need to do next is grab these uh, delineators, which should already retain the same sort of curved shape. Are they floating up in the air? They are not. They're kind of misaligned though. Let's see if we can notch them back in place. They are kind of looking the wrong way though. I, th I think uh, there's a way to rotate them, right? Like after the fact. Um, let's see. Immediately rotate randomly. Align as a group routine, central point. Uh, nope, that's not what I want. Rotate selected items. I guess I will have to pick something to rotate them to. Rotate them to. Okay, so here's what I should probably do. Select one, put it the right way, the way I want them to be. Control arrow keys to rotate and move it. Oh, okay. Well, let me let me try. Sure, uh, let's see. Control rotate. No, that's not what I want. I want to rotate in place. I don't want to like change. Like I want the white face to be facing traffic. But I think it's this tool. The tool that I want is this one. So I can just do this. Et voila. Now we have proper delineators. So you're coming from this angle or the other one, and now you see the, the reflections here. That took some time. Uh, one of the projects that I've been kind of holding off from doing, by the way, is freeway stuff, uh, which we haven't been here in a little while. Uh, it looks okay, but it's kind of sparse. And, um, oh my God, yeah, <laughs> look at this. We need to fix this, I don't know. I don't know why all these people are like coming into this interchange and then leaving immediately. I don't know what's up with that. 
I might need to like create a, a, a turnaround somewhere here. That way he doesn't funnel all this traffic through my through my network all the way to here. This this makes no sense. Where where are you coming from? Leaving the city. Owner Rosemary Miller. But like it doesn't tell me where they came from, right? I guess I can click on that. Yeah, no, this tells me the remaining part of the trip. So they're going this way. But where did you came from is what I would like to know. So like another camper here. Leaving the city. Okay, so you spawn and now you want to do this whole thing and then go out. That makes absolutely no sense. No sense whatsoever. So let's do, let's, okay, this, this is gonna be like traffic fixing simulator for a second here. Let's do like a nice, like turnaround sort of interchange. It's gonna be sort of outside of the city anyways. I don't think I've ever worked on this part of Nidal besides, you know, just laying down this, uh, this train tracks and whatnot. Okay. Um, I kind of want to do something that's relatively quick and quick in, in the sense that I want traffic to not have to stop too much. So, I, I don't understand why you would just spawn and immediately leave. Like, that makes no sense to me. Oh, well. Uh, let's do the vanilla off-ramps. Do we have? No, that's, that's all we have. That's fine. So, basically, we want something like this. Right? And... If we select these nodes, beautiful, done. That's ex I mean, this it's quick. I mean, look at the slope here. They will definitely get some some traction. There you go. They're they're using it. Uh, I think I remember doing that, doing something like this not so long ago to see if I could fix it. And then I, I obviously didn't save the change, but I did notice that they wanted a much longer sort of off ramp because they otherwise it would just get stuck in here. In fact, it's probably a better idea if these two nodes don't merge here. I guess I could just use lanes, uh, lane restriction to avoid having this issue anyways. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's make this pretty. Oh man, I got the mod, the mod that, this new mod that I actually asked for that allows you to like click and add a node in between networks, but I, I forgot to enable it. Well, I don't know. I might restart the game later on or maybe do it for the next stream or something like that, but that would have been handy here. In this case, I'm not super worried because I could just do that and generate the nodes that I need. I have to nudge them out of place a little bit. There we go. So, why don't we stop the simulation first? Kind of want to try to do it somewhere where obviously not in the fog. I think this is probably a good spot to do it. I want to like a, I want to have like a nice looking interchange, if that makes sense. So let's add something like this, for example. We can have the bridge. Actually, what if this stays at level and what actually raises is the, the road here? So we can have something like this, or maybe even like this. Let's bring this one down. There we go. And that way, we can go under instead of up. Let's do some terraforming here. Really rough terraforming, nothing too crazy. Actually, might as well grab are we by the water. Yeah, let's grab this. Probably a bit too much, but it's okay. No, that's actually a lot. Definitely didn't want to go that long. Taser, how's it going? How am I doing? I'm doing fine, man. How are you doing? Just uh, getting back into Nidal after not, after being lazy, not having time to, well, not lazy, I've been working, but 
haven't had time to actually put a real episode out. Okay, so that is a good start-ish. I think I wanna keep having bridge here and possibly bridge here. Cause I also wanna do a turnaround for the other lane just so that it makes a bit more sense, you know? And this is uh, an attempt of uh, making sure that uh, also turn off snapping. We don't want snapping ever. So I can do something like that. And I can grab the different notes, perhaps. That looks good. So technically we could do this thing. So that's properly aligned, supposedly. And we can do this and that. All right, so that works. Honestly, we might be able to, I mean, here's a crazy idea. Why don't we like actually do a little river to take advantage of this high difference? I mean, while we're at it, let's just add some details. Maybe that will be the, the thing for the stream. Maybe split that national road into a two-lane, two one-lane highway, then build the lane between that two roads. Hopefully, it makes sense. Um, I th think I know what you mean. You like the lake idea? No, I wasn't. I wasn't thinking of doing adding adding a lake, just like a, a little stream of water that lands into the water here, like in between the trees. Because I haven't done. I mean, I have wa done one of those, but haven't done many. And that way, we can sort of justify having this like valley here, which I, I mean, I, I really like how this looks. So maybe that will be a thing. You know what? Let's let's start with that then. I, I like the idea. I really like the idea. So how deep do we want to go? I guess this is probably deep enough. So we can just sort of carve a river in between the trees. Something like that. I guess we can have a tiny lake here, why not? The only issue that I see here is, which I is the thing that I struggle with the most, is having water flow the right way. So let me go into here, full strength, and get rid of the trees. That way we know, or at least we can see what we're doing to some degree. I'm just trying to clear up the brush enough so that I can see what I'm doing, but then we'll adjust the edges of it. I had no idea we we're gonna be doing this, just so you know, but I like it. Uh, all right, obviously over here, we need to continue doing this all the way into here. So we're still kind of tall, which is a good sign because what we could do is we can grab the slope tool and uh, maybe right from here. And then we can just uh, do this. This is basically creating a slope between that point that I just marked and the exit point on the other end. I'm doing a terrible job at doing this, but I think it will work. Yeah, that kind of works. Except now <laughs> there's a much larger canyon here, which I'm not totally against. Uh, we can smooth the edges a little bit, but I mean, that looks kind of nice. I think we can work with this. So we can have like a fake lake here sort of flowing into into the into this thing. This this looks a little bit too straight. Let's see if we can uh, improve it a little bit. Yeah. 
make it a bit more round and jagged around the edges, something like that. And uh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do is this, clear up some of the trees around it. There we go, not too bad. Is adding water hard in this? Uh, it kind of is. So, uh, so the water in City Skylands is actually really good. It just flows wherever you know, wherever it can, just like in, in real in real life. Um, so you need to have some kind of gradient uh, or slope. That way, water will go to where you want it to go. Yeah, we're gonna add rocks and and a whole bunch of stuff for sure. Uh, is there a bridge version of these train tracks now is what it, I mean, I know I know there is but like let's see what we have here Just temporarily. I want to add a bridge that way. I know what I'm dealing with uh, This is the wrong menu. This is the right menu. Okay, so Generic elevated railway Also, I'm gonna be converting this to oh, okay. Now this is just one way There we go Beautiful just wait, we're, I'm, I'm not done here. We're, we're gonna be doing more and more things. Uh, let's get rid of that, let's get rid of that. I mean, I know that looks. this looks like very unfinished, but it's already looking amazing, <laughs> I think. Uh, or maybe I could just like picture how this is going to look like once, once we're finished here, but I think it's gonna be a fun project. All right, so let's clear up some of these trees are on this exposed lines and the next thing that I want to do is just try the water make sure that actually flows nice and then we're going to start adding details to it that's sort of the plan here so this is how you add water in case you never did it uh, so you click on that thing you create this giant pool of water that's going to flood the whole valley but in order to avoid doing that what you do is just click and drag to bring it down and then you can see that's probably good enough. You can also change the water capacity. I, th I think this should be fine for now. I don't think you can change it after the fact. Let's see if this is like too much or too little. Let's go almost full speed here. Now, my worry is that this slope may not be as steep enough that water will sort of start fading out, but I think with enough capacity here, it should flow nicely look at that the rapids hey verm how's it going should add a very small town in this area to uh, or make a national park maybe maybe oh we got the water from the actual place coming in here as well all right so this works this is what I was afraid of, you know, not not fully working, but it works, so that's good. So let's see if we can improve the terraforming on the sides. I wish Flux was here, because he's like he's the expert in, in terraforming, but yeah. <laughs> not not gonna happen tonight. Uh, this is a little bit too much. Let's bring that down. I think what I wanna do is grab like this level and like push this this hill a little bit back something along those lines and then we just move in the terrain up a little bit I do want to have some exposed rocks every once in a while I don't want everything to be like super smooth or, or anything but just a little bit of just a combination of both is usually what I aim for you see now it's a little bit more gentle. It's still there's still work that needs to be done here, but at least things uh, things look fine. We're obviously going to add a lot of details around here. In fact, what we should probably add is uh, some of these sandy, rocky edges, which are part of the map theme that I'm using. Um, let's see. We could make it so that this shoreline is a little bit better. In fact, let's just add like a little beach sort of site here and then do 
something like that. Maybe bring this beach site a little bit along the coast. And now we just smoothen it out. We definitely need to smooth this out. That way it transitions well into the actual ocean or well, I mean, it's not a lake. It's, I think it's definitely an ocean, this giant body of water that we have here. And uh, let me get rid of some of these trees that are in the middle of the water. If that makes no sense. We're gonna have to re-add a whole bunch of these anyways, but just wanna have things be a little bit clearer. This, this is a problem here I need to address. I might be using the wrong brush here. Not that it matters, because the resolution of the terrain is not like great in this game anyways. But at least we're, we're getting somewhere. There we go, that, that is a much n nicer looking river, if I do say so myself. I mean, look at it, it's kind of nice. Definitely a small stop or a small town or pit stop would uh, make the roundabout thing look in place. Yeah, I guess I can have like a, just like a small gas station. Why not? Smooth the mountain uh, with the valleys uh, or something. Maybe make the river runs between the mountain or build a waterfall instead of a lake nowhere. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking of this as a, as a spring, so there's like actual water sort of flowing from, from within. Um, we're actually really close to this other th place. I don't know if I necessarily want to connect these two both ways, but yeah. The, the waterfalls don't look great in the game. That's why I'm not, I don't think I want to do them. Uh, I think this looks fine for now, honestly. Really clear up a bit more of this brush. On both sides. So before I do that, let's smoothen things out a tiny bit more. have some nice decent shorelines that are not like jagged edges that's one thing that i see a lot when, when people get started with city skylines that they just like, have this giant cliffs because they carved a river across their city and they don't have like nice gentle which i mean it's not like that never happens but it's nice to have a variety of things and not simply have that especially if you're using the vanilla theme like <laughs> that doesn't uh look great as an exposed texture, so you would definitely want to smooth it out as much as you can. So we can have something like this, just to break it a little bit. I'm okay if the cliff is like recessed a little bit in the back. There we go, it's not too bad. I think we need to work on this side a little bit. This giant wall makes no sense here, so. I mean, it makes some sense, but I'd rather have it be much more gentle than what it is. Trees are going nuts. What conifers am I using? Uh, I think I'm using some um, some of uh, Mr. Mason's conifers here. Let me pull them up. These ones. The Norfolk Island Pine Young and, uh, well, the adult, I guess, by Mr. Mason. I'm still amazed that uh, Night Map has only 26% buildable area. That's a very accurate number. How the hell did you come up with that number? <laughs> Did you actually measure it? I like. I mean, I did the map on purpose so that it's mostly water. 
so I wouldn't have to build the whole damn place. Because I figured, okay, that might be like much easier to work with. But I mean, it's ginormous. Like seriously, we've been working on this for like half a year now and it's like never ending. Especially if I keep doing things like my, my idea, my original idea is to only work on the city here and that's it. And now I'm like doing all this freeway, freeway stuff and this river here. I mean, it looks great from up, from up above. Uh, we should probably add a few more of these, honestly. It's what we, what we should do, especially on this one that looks like way too smooth. Not, not a huge fan of how that one looks. So maybe this could be the next candidate. I don't know if we'll have time to do that tonight, but or this morning for that matter. I mean, but something, something like that. Let me clear out the brush here. And uh, perhaps we can still prefer this one, honestly. There we go. So we can have them like that. And now we can smooth it out. And do the same back there. This looks nice. This might need to be rounded up a bit more. Same with these hills, even though they're covering trees, so that actually helps a fair amount. That way I don't have to tinker with it so much. Uh, nope, that's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do is this. How to save. Yeah, I might add a, a, a few buildings here just so that it looks like, you know, something, uh, something, you know, there's justification for whatever infrastructure we're going to put down. I think that that could, could work. And uh, yeah. All right, so I'm happy with that. Let's see if we can smooth this out just a touch. I like this exposed cliffs here. I definitely want like shallower like coastlines. That way we can put some gravel in a minute here and it looks a little bit nicer. For those of you who are just joining the stream right now, because I, I see a, a bit of an uptick and, and the people tuning in, we're building, so this whole thing started because we needed, uh, the, the game has a bug or something that is generating belt, uh, cars that immediately want to leave. So we need to add like a turning point so that they can turn around instead of going all the way to here to turn around, which is causing a lot of traffic issues that I don't need, especially because I want to, at some point, work on this project right here. There's like a rest area of sorts. But um, we kind of got sidetracked and we started working on a river to justify having some kind of roundabout here. And uh, that's what we're working on. So welcome to the stream, everyone. Cool. Okay. So we have that there. This is a problem. Let's see if we can fix it. Yeah, we can't fix it. Uh, now this is a problem. Let's bring the brush down. There we go. Awesome. Oh, look at the water cutting through this this area. This is not a good thing. Um, so what I want to do is potentially raise this up enough that uh, the river doesn't want to flow over there. Perfect. Fan freaking tastic. And we have a bit of a flood area here as well. Yeah, I guess so. The water is actually pushing up against this 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 thing so let's see if we can bring this up just a touch look at the rapids that looks so cool and and the foam sort of texture uh, from from this theme is just magical i mean look at it it's like so realistic So the next layer of, okay, we have a similar situation here. Let's see if we can raise this up. The same, uh, the next layer of um, 
not the same. Say the, oh my God. The next layer of uh, detail that I wanna add here is the uh, rocky, sandy shorelines, which we will use this for. So let's make the brush size smaller. And uh, actually we're gonna just turn the whole bottom of this of this lake and the river itself to be rocky like this. It's kind of hard to get it to look right, but once you do, you see like here it's a little bit extreme, but we can just, it's a, it's a very, we, you need to like be very subtle with this. The problem is that there's an underlying grid that renders these textures. And if they're not exactly where you want them to be, it just takes like a lot of clicking and dragging and trial and error to get them to look right, which is kind of annoying at times, but uh, I think we need to like smoothen these edges just a touch. Cause this is like the lake sort of area and should be a bit smoother. In fact, let's even do this. Uh, no. Actually, what do I want to do here? Uh, I think I want to bring this back kind of like that. So we're going to have a, an exposed cliff hidden in between the woods here, which I'm okay with. But at least the shorelines will look a bit more realistic, which is the actual visible part of this. So we can have something like that. And honestly, it doesn't have to be like perfect or anything like that. It's just enough that it looks plausible. I'm going for plausible. Water is so clear. Hey, Addis, how's it going? Um, you don't have any sound? Um, I noticed that on some streams the other day. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, I guess you, I'm literally saying that and I can't help you, but I think it's, it's a Twitch thing. Like Twitch player has been having hiccups. <laughs> Someone said PO. <laughs> yeah, w when you say PO, Cuboid or, or Maddie like immediately join the stream, it's like in their contract. I would say Maddie more than Cuboid. I've been I've been given green light to to use PO now, so I guess uh, now I have like no excuses. I really need to like sit down. Maddie even offered to like give me a, a tutorial, a personalized tutorial on, on how to get it done. So we might that will be a fun thing to stream, actually. Yeah, actually, that's a cool idea. I haven't thought of that. I feel like I need to like first get the mod, like play with it. Uh, and see how far I can get on my own. Just so that by the time we, we do this live, if we do it live, like I won't waste everyone's time. <laughs> All right. See, now this giant thing, I actually, uh, I don't know how I feel about this. I think I want a more shallow approach here. Something like that. It looks cool, but it seems laggy. I'm, I'm getting like, this is like, like so fluid, it's not even funny. Like laggy is the city, this is like super, I don't know how what what my frame rate is right now. Here, let me let me pull Mandy come up. Just to see how, how good we're doing. Oh, I also have that sand texture. I forgot about that. Yeah, we need to like use that a bit as well. I, I may do a little uh, a little town here, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna do it right now. I definitely wanna fix the traffic issue. Uh, it, I don't want this stream to be over with, without me fixing that, but uh, all right. Are we good, Bandicam? Yeah, okay, so we're, I'm getting 26 frames per second. Holy crap, that's a lot. <laughs> Given how in the rest of the city I usually get uh, like six, seven, something like that. This This is amazing. Take a 
look at the river. Let's maybe slow it down a bit so that camera movements are not super crazy. I think we have a little bit too many rocks in here. Let's see if we can tone this down a touch. Just a little bit, there we go. Great. Definitely more subtle than anything else. I feel like the river flows very gently, which is something that's actually hard to do in this game. Maybe lower down the texture on this side. There we go. What's uh, the sand texture? I think it's like probably one of these, right? Let's see. Maybe oil. I think it's oil, right? Let's let's actually do it here. Can we actually do it here? No, because it's not flat. Um, let's find a flat surface and try this out. Maybe with a larger. Oh, interesting. Oil has like a darken. To... Why did I never use this? This is so cool. We can totally use this now. Just to like roughen up things. See how they look from, from up close. Yeah, I think I definitely need to use this more. Okay, um, I'm getting sidetracked here. I want the sand, and I know it's like one of these. It must be one of these. I've used this one before. It doesn't look as great. What about this one? This one is the sand. Look at this. It's so cool. So wait, let's, let's paint this with a little bit of sand. I just want to have some like sand banks every, every once in a while. Try not to go too overboard with things, especially around the areas of this of this lake. I want to have a mixture of rocks and sand. That's what I'm aiming for, at least. Uh, this maybe we can like extend this just a touch. That way it doesn't like it's not super wide. up like something like that <laughs> yeah oh I'm always getting sidetracked but that's how we achieve good stuff I guess it's not very efficient uh, you know in terms of time management but okay that looks better um, I think I need to tone down the rocks just a little bit. Now we're gonna fill it with trees and it's gonna look epic. Actually, let's start doing that right now. We're gonna be doing some manual tree placing. In fact, let's add a few more up here. I want, I want all these edges to be like really covered with trees. These are great for, for covering large, uh, large patches of, of uh, vegetation. It's all gonna be very wild anyway, so. I don't mind leaving no traces of grass. I mean, some areas are gonna have some, you know, a few clear spots, but for the most part, I want this to be like very lush sort of a situation, especially because these don't conform to the terrain very much. So obviously if you look at them from this angle, there's there's gonna be some floating action, but shh, don't tell that to anyone. Nobody has to know that. Our little dirty secret. Let's add a few here. We're gonna leave this spot clear. As we get closer to the river, um, there's definitely gonna be much, as a, or and a, a different amount of, of clear spots. Now, actually, here's where I'm gonna have my interchange so that I don't wanna go too crazy. This, like, the problem is the interchange, hmm. Theme, it will have to be on one side. I don't wanna have like a bridge, like a second bridge that wouldn't make that, that will be like too much for this, so. Let's do this instead. Let's start working on what this area could be. So we can have, you guys wanted a town, and I'm gonna end up doing a town. And I hate you guys. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Um. What kind of music do I normally listen to? Uh, like pop music and etc. Um, 
I've list I listen to a whole bunch of music. Um, pop is part of that, but like I can give you, uh, but my my sort of my taste change uh, changes depending on what I'm doing because I usually listen to music when I'm doing some other thing. If I if I need to like really focus, I would probably listen to jazz. But if I just want like some chill music background, like uh, or something like that, uh, some of the bands that I've been listening to a lot lately, um, Tame Impala. Justice, if I need to get really pumped on, on doing something. Uh, let's see, let me actually pull up my Spotify thing here. Uh, let me see. There's like personal information in here, so I don't want to necessarily <laughs> share uh, my, my Spotify window. But uh, yeah, I've been listening like Chicano Batman like a lot. What do I have here? I have Dire Straits as well. I've been listening a lot to this band called Home. It's like instrumental uh, electronic music. I, I would have played now, but this is going on YouTube and I'm gonna get a uh, copyright claim, which is not fun. Uh, I also like this band a lot, uh, Krungbin. I watched them live once and they sound really nice and it's great for like Putting in the background. I saw this uh, French band Paris uh, combo the other night, like a couple nights ago in, in Berkeley. They, they're they amazing. I've been listening to them for a long time as well. So as you can see, it's kind of like a mixed uh, mixed variety of music. I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't be able to say it like specifically, oh, I like only pop or rock. I just like a little bit of everything. A town seems much. I mean, w when I'm thinking of a town, I'm literally thinking like a road and like five houses. That that is it. That that's the town. That that's it. Nothing more. I'm not thinking of having like services and things. Let's see. I'm gonna try it out. I'm not saying I'm I'm going to keep it or anything. Just want to give it a shot. Uh, oh, that is too much. That's what I wanted. So let's bring this down enough. So if we have, I guess we're still kind of close to this. Um, let me try to plan this out a little bit because it's not as easy as putting down a road in five houses. This, um, yeah. I think we're gonna need to do something like this. So we can have a national road here that's like aligned. Come on, get it right. There we go. All right, so that's a nice, a nice curve. And then we can have the on ramps and off ramps sort of come this way, except how do we make it so that this angle works? Yeah, this is not gonna be super easy, huh? I think I first need to get the, ex the interchange done and then we'll figure out a situation for the, uh, for the town if we actually end up doing that and if we have the time. Yeah, Crownman is awesome. It's I love him. I always listen to all their albums like like straight up in in one session <laughs> whenever uh, whenever I can. They have like a like a live show on YouTube, uh, recorded live show is I think it's like a Pitchfork one. Definitely recommended. Uh, okay, so actually one I, I want to see Chicano Batman live and they were open and that's how I got to know them. The first time I'm actually like, oh wow! Like I'm glad that there, this opening band was here first because now I enjoy. It. I rarely enjoy opening bands from other for other bands. <laughs> okay. Um, so I mean, so we have this like lower area here. So there, we have no option then to do this. Like this is all that we can actually do. And then. I guess, yeah, 
Like it will have to be something like this. Obviously I just did a terrible job at aligning the roads, but this is sort of how it will work. No, yes, no, actually, yeah. And then this, and then this. And this will have to be kind of like that. That's our interchange right there. Gorgeous, isn't it? They're kind of already using it, <laughs> which is bad. We don't we don't want them using it. Look, this this guy just like turned around and now it's making the turn. Yeah, that's not that's not a good thing, boy. Okay. But this is sort of where we're at. Oh, I, I missed that notification. We got some bits from uh, Combustible Nun. <laughs> that's that's a funny nickname. Uh, here's some bits. Thank you so much for the bits. Much, much appreciated. I'm actually picturing a nun that's combustible. It's, it's, it definitely, it's definitely graphic in my mind. <laughs> All right. I'm okay with this. So here's what we should do. Let's connect these two. First of all, let, let, let me make sure that this works. So what we want is to turn this around and uh, turn this around. So if everything goes well, this should be working. Let's see, Let's see what happens. Speed up the simulation here. Okay, so they're taking a, a, another shortcut, which is it's not great. So in order to prevent that from happening, what we need to do is tell them that they can only go that way. We got uh, we got another sub bullo 152. Thank you for subbing. Welcome welcome to the stream. Hopefully you're not disappointed about my my lane changing things. Uh, here you should go there, and you should go there. And you can go either of these two ways. Oh my god, there's already a massive traffic jam here. Like, why Why are you taking this route? Like, you're... Oh, because you want to turn there. Okay, gotcha. So, yeah, this is what we're going to be doing. You can only go here. This is insane. <laughs> yeah, we're going we're gonna to have a, a gas station or a petrol station for sure. By the way, oh, for for those of you who are subbing, uh, we have we have a new emote. We have a toaster emote, and also I forgot to mention this. I have a new uh, uh, Discord server that's uh, right now it's only available for uh, patrons and uh, Twitch subs. So if you linked your Patreon account uh, to Discord and or your Twitter, uh, sorry, your Twitch account to uh, Discord, you should be able to access that. Eventually, it's going to be public. Everyone will have access to it. But um, I'm just like trying to like test things out, uh, and through my Discord server, the people who are subbing on Twitch will be able to access my early access videos, uh, specifically the City Skylines videos that I, that I post on YouTube. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. What do I need to change here to make this work better? I guess this is it, right? It's not going to get any better than this. We have a bit of a conga line here. So, hmm. Yeah, this is gonna be a problem. Or, or not, actually, I mean, it, it flows, look. Yeah, I think that was just momentary, mom, a momentary uh, issue here. Yeah, this flows pretty well. I'm okay with this. Yeah, there you go. Josh, Josh, Josh is using them. <laughs> two lanes uh, each way. No, I don't want to add two lanes because that will have to refactor everything. Like this should work fine with one lane in real life anyways. So uh, we should probably, okay, this turn is forbidden. You shouldn't be able to turn there and you can only go here. There we go. Let's see if that improves it. I'm sure there's there's still some somewhat of a uh, backed up traffic from when I was tinkering with things. There's probably cars that drove all the way out and now they're coming back and they're trying to do some some other thing. 
But I think this works. I mean, look, now it's flowing like 100%. There's no backups of any kind. Eventually we get like a, you know, an influx of a ton of cars, but this works. This works just fine. Okay, so now that we have that, let's try to make this pretty. Where's our next node? Our next node is here. So we're gonna turn snapping on. Turn down the speed, because otherwise it's gonna drive me crazy. And uh, I might as well just get rid of all these trees. We're gonna be in the way. There we go. And I think I want something along these lines so that there's a, a smoother transition into the road. Let's get rid of this. This one needs to be a little bit farther out. Something like that. And something like that. Check out this, this slope right here. Good, good stuff. Qu quality, quality road work here. All right, so we want all these to be aligned, I think. Now, in this case, we might need to go a little higher because of the limitations of the slopes. So I think we can do something like this and then something like that. Yeah, that slope is not terrible. This is still a bit of a steep turn, like a very sharp turn, which I'm not necessarily, not necessarily too fond of. You lost count on how many trees I killed, but I replanted a lot more and we're gonna be replanting more. Like I'm not, this is not just gonna stay like this forever. Um, so I think I want to do that. This this side is probably fine because we have plenty of room. This one is the one that worries me a little bit. So we might need to like extend this further out. Kind of like that. And then we can do something like that. I don't I don't necessarily want like a perfectly symmetrical thing. Just something that makes some sense. I might want to bring this up a little bit, even though we're kind of close to the water here. But I don't necessarily think we need to go super... Oh, I have an idea. Why don't we make a, a dam? That'll be interesting. That will generate power for the five houses that are gonna be here. And then we might have an excuse to run some power lines places. Like, I don't know, mm, actually, let's see. So I, I rarely use dams for this. Uh, where is it? Here. That may justify all this infrastructure even more than a town, don't you think? Like if we have something like that, maybe a little bit back and can we actually move this? Yes, yes we can. Oh, there's like a thing below. Uh, let's see. Let's do all of that, uh, except the trees. Let's see if we can move this whole thing. Nope, yeah, I guess we can't move that. OZ Stark, thank you for subscribing. Welcome to the stream. Josh says, I like it with a hundred bits. Thank you. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, there might be something here, huh? Yeah, I like, I actually really like this idea. Um, the water is gone though. Let's see, how much power is this generating right now? Zero. So this is gonna start filling up now. So there's gonna be a bit of a lake thing going on. Uh, yeah, let's get rid of this. And uh, we will probably have to maybe put this thing in here. I want, I want it to be centered with the river. So I think something like that may work. Let's see how that how that behaves. And I think this is tall enough that it will help us, you know, sort of retain the water up on this uh, area. That way we can potentially generate power. 
I think it takes a little while, right, to, for this for this to 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 get up to uh, speed. Look at the interchange; it's so flawless. Still need to like fix things, but it, it works. I know these are not, not like the most environmentally friendly things. Like, sure, they don't emit, they don't have like emissions, but I don't think they're <laughs> necessarily uh, necessarily the cleanest for the environment. I wish that there was like more water coming out of it. And also, why is this like zero power output? I mean, there's like, a ton of water sort of backed up there. I would like to know. Oh, Josh is gifting subs. Nice, thank you, Josh. That's that's very kind of you. Yeah, you you've gifted according to to my my activity feed here. You, this is the third gift sub you 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 gave so far. So thank you. That's seriously that's very generous of you, and I much much appreciated. So if I do that connection there. This is actually really exciting. Now, I would like to know why why there's no no water here. Maybe because I need to like terraform this a little bit more. We're obviously gonna add some concrete walls just to make it a bit more like less naturally looking. But why why is this not? Uh... First of all, why is this not working? Should be working. Power output zero. Is it like too small? What map theme configs are you using? Um, I'm using, so these are my relight settings. You can take a screenshot uh, of my screen right now if you want. Uh, whether I don't use, I, ambient, it's like whatever. Uh, this is not gonna affect the looks of the thing. Uh, I'm using the relight average slot and these three options turned on. Uh, bloom, tone mapping, uh, LUT uh, color correction or lot color correction and press uh, presets nothing and then relight uh where is it no what's the relight setting i can never forget there's like a weird shortcut that i never use is it like control l or something like that nope that's not it i think it's like a three key combo nope I thought it was control like period or something like that. I guess it's not. Hang on. Let me let me look it up. Relight. So relight is triggered by shift alt L. Yeah, I'll never forget that. So this is what I have for relight. Here, let me put it here so you can actually see it. It's kind of hard to see, but yeah. Uh, brightness, gamma, and everything is set to one. Temperature and tint, 0.25. Everything else is zero. And then enable sky tone mapping is on and force low, uh, low shadow bias is on. And then uh, I think I have post-processing uh, post effects for, for a little bit of uh, ambient occlusion, nothing too crazy. And then what you also want is daylight uh, classic. And I have it set to this. So yeah, you can go watch, go watch this the this part of the stream, and if if you want to have uh, all these settings, I'm using the old version of Daylight Classic, by the way. Uh, it's uh, because that way I can get the the sky replacement mod that Runix, uh, or at least the textures that Runix put together. Uh, you can find those in the workshop. There, there's a link to it there, and uh, yeah, that will work. Okay, um, the water source should be a little higher in level or the dam lowered, I think. Okay. Uh, let's see, can we actually do this? Oh, you might be right. Dude, that was brilliant. Who was that? Subtle suit, thank you so much for that. That was very useful. I would have never guessed that. Like in my mind, it's just like, it looks like, it looks fine. Why is it not working? All right, now we're, now we're cooking. Yeah, this is gonna be awesome. All right, uh, let's, let's make this pretty because so far it's not. 
I mean, it's kind of there. It looks, it's like a weird heart shape. It's a, it's a heart with like some kind of disease. Actually, this is not what hearts look like in real life anyway, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so let's clear up the edges of this. Just a little bit. And now that we can see what we're doing. Man, there's so much traffic in here, it's ridiculous. Okay, um, so we got that fixed. We might need to do some terraforming here to make it pretty. I've noticed that dams usually have like, like concrete walls to sort of funnel the water a little bit. So we might need to do that. Let's grab some keys. I think will be the right thing to do. Um, actually, maybe retaining walls would be a better choice. Not built on water? I guess you can build it on water. It's called, like, literally, it's the seawall retaining wall. Oh, no, actually, it's not the seawall, but it's fine. I think these are perfect for this, honestly. They kind of match the texture of the dam itself. Problem is, they're kind of floating up in the air, so. Let's select the nodes. Subtle Sud gifted us off. Nice. Thank you so much. That's so generous of you. Actually, sorry. Josh gifted a sub to Subtle Sud. There we go. I got the notification wrong there. Thank you, Josh. <laughs> Just making sure that everyone who contributes, it's, it's, it's repaid appropriately. All right. Cool. This is interesting. Now, I was thinking of having like very smooth edges here, but I think I want like actual straight lines. The problem is that since this is an asset that's meant to be on land, it's not really letting me do much outside of it. Um, so we'll have to like stage it outside for a little bit first. Like, that's kind of what I'm trying to do here. Yeah, I think that works. And, um... Here, let's copy these. Try to, like, align it. So these are, like, perfectly aligned with one another. As you can see here and they're also kind of aligned to the road as well which means that we could theoretically do this there we go um, and the next thing I want to do is get rid of these these uh, chunks of dirt here so the problem is that I don't think I'll be able to terraform that so much whenever you place roads you can hit control left uh, to, or right arrows to switch between normal, ground, or elevated. Interesting. Interesting. Like whenever... Control left? Ah, oh, very good. Or the arrows, yeah. R left or right arrows. Okay, gotcha. Cool. Okay, nice tip. Thank you. Um... Okay, so um, let's see. Let's grab the. Let's make this flat. See what it looks like, because obviously we're gonna need to like fill it, fill the edges with some kind of, uh, let's say, ploppable surface or something like that. We can have the straight lines for the concrete walls up to this point, and then it just transition into maybe normal mode or something like that. Yeah, I think that will work. 
Like we can literally do something like this. And I think this one. Hmm. Why can't I select the node anymore? Oh, Cause it's like way down there. So something like that. Perhaps works. Is there a way to like? Does chat know if uh, if there's a way to like align these two so they're like perfectly aligned? I think there is a way, right? I think Cuboy to told me like one of these tools actually does that. Like, I think actually that did it, right? What about these two? These two are copied and pasted. So I think they're. Exactly the same. I mean, that looks aligned to me. Now, I think I want to lower this down just a touch. Feels a little bit too extreme in terms of height. So why don't we do this? Let's grab this node, this node, this node, basically all of these nodes. Yeah, because like this height is perfect. I don't want to touch it. At least I don't think I want to touch it. So we have those there and that there. Let's see if we can bring this down to like a more reasonable level. Great, autosave. Like I hate autosave. Like it's usually, it does it when I'm like really focused on something, but not having autosave like made me waste so much time before. So it's, definitely a nice to have. I also want to maybe move this pillar on this side. That way it's like not in the middle of my bridge. And I think I might be able to get away with that. Oh, there's like a new thing in, uh, in move it that I need to like hold alt, I think, or yeah, to actually grab the thing and move it where I want it. So we can have it be right there. And then this one, we can make it so that it just sits. Come on, you can do it. There we go, that, that one is centered, perfect. So at least these two make a little bit more sense. Maybe this one needs to be actually moved a little bit up to the side. Like right on the actual wall. And this one, I might just cover this one with a concrete wall just to make it a little bit easier and more, more better. <laughs> Where do I live? I live in Los Angeles. It's, I don't know if you're, if that's a joke or not, cause it's literally the title of the stream. <laughs> But also, I don't know if you were talking to someone else in the chat, so yeah. Sometimes I get like half, like someone might be talking to someone else and I'm like, are you talking to me or what's going on? Uh, so this is like not centered and it bothers me slightly. So what if we do this? I think that's more centered. Now the issue is that now if I move this pillar, like I can move it, right? But do we want to move it? Will it look structurally sound? I feel like these two are a bit of apart from one another, but I mean, they don't, yeah. Now this doesn't look like it would hold up just like that. Um, let's figure out, let's figure this out first. So let's get that there, Ex like sort of, uh, show, uh, show that thing. Crooked, uh, vertex <laughs> talking about crooked vertex. Uh, thank you for the, for the sub. Uh, yeah, I feel like there's a ton of crooked vertexes, uh, right here. Welcome to the stream, by the way. That's a, that's a funny nickname too. I'm okay with this, but I think I need a pillar in the middle here 
unfortunately that's the way it's going to be but how can I make that so that it doesn't uh... you love my content thank you that's that's very kind of you much much appreciated I'm glad I'm glad you're enjoying the the work that, that we're doing here this is why you don't get to see on, on my super fast timelines. I would just like make 20,000 cuts here and then you'll get to miss all of the struggle and the sweat and tears of, of putting this of putting this together. Um, I was thinking of having like, I can bring this to retaining walls and have like, uh, like some kind of pointy thing so that the water flows nicely around it, but we can still have a giant pillar holding this bridge together. Cause I don't think I have enough like decent bridge assets to like a suspension kind of thing. I don't think I have that. I mean, let's take a look at this, but yeah, this is like giant. Um, this comes built in with the thing. What about this one? This one, it's nice, but yeah, I guess we could use Jay's. These are Jay's, right? Yeah. Um, this one looks nicer than the vanilla ones that we have here on the National Road. Slow it down, because it's getting kind of insane. There we go. Um, here, let, let's put the, the water deflector device first and then we'll figure out what the best course of action is maybe if you delete the left pillar it looks better you mean this one yeah i mean I, this one is going to be covered by a concrete wall and this one as well but i think like a bridge of this span is probably not going to hold up like this is me being very peaky like trying to make this look structurally sound i think i need a pillar in the middle here unfortunately so i'm trying to like come up with a design that won't that would just look nice in this stretch of water. Like I don't want to interrupt the flow of water too much, if that makes any sense. This, this is what I'm thinking here. Let me let me give it a quick shot. So we're gonna grab the uh, retaining walls and we're gonna do something like this. Let's grab the segment. Like this is kind of what I'm thinking. So something like this, and the pillar will just sit in the middle. So I can have that aligned to that. In fact, it doesn't even have to be this. Uh... Wow, we can even align it perfectly to like the middle of the thing. This is a bit too tall, possibly, but we can uh, make this uh, just lower it. Kind of like that. So that way it will deflect the water and it's not gonna put a lot of strain onto the actual pill pillar itself. That's sort of what I'm thinking. It's maybe overkill, but I don't know. I think it will look cool. So let's see, let's move back the pillar that we moved here. Actually, I think if we upgrade the bridge, it's just gonna fix it right yeah nope it's not gonna fix it it's just gonna make it really slow <laughs> all right that's fine that's fine it's okay i forgive you um let's let's actually pop it again because why not oh okay i guess once you move it it's gone like we've been having a lot of issues in previous versions of city skylands or move it or something where the pillars will just reset back to where the network wants them to go. So that's kind of what I had in mind. Let me see if I can squeeze this in even further. See how tight can I make this? Pretty tight apparently. And then we can grab this one and move it off to the side where the previous one was. Also, why is it? Oh, because it wants to snap automatically to everything. That's fine. So we can center that exactly in the middle and have this like little gap sit flushed with the, the walls and 
we could potentially do the same here, right? Let me rotate things. There we go. Now that looks much more reasonable in my in my humble opinion. Hi Priatlas, welcome to the stream. Looks better, huh? Yeah. I I I, I don't disagree. Uh, definitely need to get rid of that. And I think while we're at it, we can maybe grab this node, turn on the alignment, bring that there. And this one, I think what we want to do in this case is straight up grab, actually this, this should probably be a fence. Cannot build on water. I hate you so much. Why? I mean, I have anarchy on, like, I need to, I need to tell Cuboid to, like, add a thing for this, because it's annoying. Uh, anyways, let's just do it here, anyways. Yeah, what I want to do here is just simply grab the node and align it, if possible. There we go. And it's actually going to serve two purposes, be a, a retaining thing for the uh, for the road itself actually you might as well just follow the curve right so these two are aligned and uh, yeah that's actually much much better uh, I feel like the gap here is a little bit too much Let's fix that Josh with another 100 bits. Thank you. You like it more? I kind of like it. I kind of like it too. I, I want to have like a like a thing where it's like, you know, halfway industrial and then it sort of transitions back to nature. Okay. So I think we're in good shape now. Let's figure out how to take this to the next level. I don't know how I'm going to fill these like tiny gaps here or if we even want to i think we do want to but let's see do we have any plopable surfaces that are no nah, no plopable pavement i think is what i want what's the smallest one we can do i think it's gonna be a tight fit but it will work So what's the widest area here? Okay, so we're gonna need to bring this down quite a bit in order to hide it, which is not great. This is what PO is handy in this sort of situations. I wish I actually had PO, <laughs> but I don't yet, but I guess we might be able to get away with that by just simply doing that. I mean, that works. Awesome. And here, uh, I think we might want to lay down a road because there's obviously going to be some infrastructure around the uh, dam. And uh, let's see. Let's add, um, it's probably fine. It's not a very European kind of road segment, this one, but it will do. I wanna see how this looks just on its own. Can we bring this? Nope, let's turn that off, let's see. If this actually makes some kind of sense. 
Can I somehow get away with this? Barely. This this one is fixable, so I'm okay with that. I just want to get the shadow to look right. So now that we have that aligned, we can bring this back closer to the road. I think we're like right outside of the shoulder, the grav the gravel shoulder. So now I wish that I was just able to, <laughs> to get the segment as a fence, but the game doesn't like it, unfortunately, so that's a problem. And we still need to address the issue with the terrain, so it's easy on this side, because now we're going to cover it with uh, other kinds of things, but on this side we're going to need a clipping path. For example, this 8 meter one. And I don't want to snap to things, so let's see how this looks. This is pro cannot build on water. Arrgh! I yeah. I'm not mad, I'm just disappointed. Yeah, I don't want to use this clipping path here, and this is not the right way to fix this. Um, the right way to fix this will be to use a terraforming network. Like this one, which I'm sure I'm going to get... Okay, I didn't get the no, cannot build on water error. That's, that's an improvement. So let's get these two nodes to be aligned like that. There we go. That's, that's definitely an improvement. In fact... Uh, why don't we straight up terraform everything back to what it should be? So, for example, grab the uh, smooth tool, make sure that everything looks nice. Also, this is not even connected to the dam, so let's actually go ahead and connect it. Like so, and we can simply grab these guys and put them over there. Oh, and I need another road to like lift it up. I guess we'll sort of have the same issue here. Hmm. But I mean, that's even better than what we had before anyways, I think. So I am not concerned about that. Let's get these two nodes aligned like so. Welcome to the uh, Terraforming Podcast, sponsored by Skillshare and Squarespace and Brilliant.com. <laughs> now I'll never get a sponsorship from those companies just for making fun of them. <laughs> Actually, I haven't used Brilliant.com, but I have used Skillshare before. It's nice. There we go. Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. Uh, let's grab some... Uh, Plubbable grass. Probably the large one. What's the... I think this is the large one, right? Yep, this is the large one. So again, this is another great use for PO, as I've been told. So we can have that there. Actually, this shouldn't be grass. This should be concrete, right? Ish? Yeah, this should be concrete. In fact, this should be... Uh, not pavement, but actual... Uh, what is it called? Is it actually concrete? No. It's not concrete. It's the other one. Oh, wait. I can use my plubbable docks for here as well. They're kind of bright. No. No, they're not. They're not a good fit for this place. Concrete keys. Like, this is a probable pavement, but there's the, the, what's the, I forgot the name of the, uh, darker one. I'm surprised you actually got a, a dam uh, to work in, in cities. Are you having trouble with it? I mean, it, it was only a matter of, like, like, lowering it down. It wasn't, it wasn't that hard, but I've, I've rarely used dams in 
and cities. I guess I have a great excuse now. Okay, um, blah, 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 let's see. I was just gonna search absolutely everything. Can I search? Nope. Uh, no structures. Yeah, no, this doesn't have the actual filter that Move It has, unfortunately, but it's okay. I can't believe I forgot the name of this thing. Asphalt. That's the word I was thinking of. Blubbable asphalt. Um, yeah, I think this works. So I want to keep it right there. And just uh, straight up this. Try to get it as aligned as I can without going insane. So this is gonna be some kind of like service road even. For like maintenance and stuff. Kinda like what we have here. Um, I think this needs to curve a little bit like that. Actually, you should probably narrow this. Also, oh yeah, this one needs to be more like that. It's getting a little bit glitchy on this side, but I think I'm fine with that. Get that there, and now we should probably... Actually, I don't think that will work, but let's see. Do we have a nice, smooth transition? I think we, we actually have. Yeah, I think this works. It's kind of an odd shape, but it, I mean, it functions and it flows and there's no, I guess there's a little bit of a slow down sort of time here. But now we don't have that. You definitely don't want cars to stop and then turn, like if you can avoid them or prevent them from doing that, that is certainly an improvement. Let's, uh, let's get this aligned the right way as well. And now we can possibly just grab the node. You know that should be know. sitting somewhere here. Yeah. That was too much. But yeah, something like that. What map theme is this? This is the Reinhold map theme, which is, uh, it used to be public. Um, actually, this didn't used to be public ever. Um, it's from Hadiz, um, where is it? Where do you actually change the map theme? I, I don't even remember. Why am I blanking on this? <laughs> it's called Reinhold. Uh, you basically, you can only access it right now uh, if you support Hadiz, uh, Hadiz's patron, or if you're a creator and she adds you as a friend, you can get it from the workshop that way. It's not a public theme, uh, unfortunately, but uh, it's a great theme. And uh, I've been using it uh, a lot. And I recently, uh, I used to combine it with other themes because I'm not a huge fan of how the uh, pavement texture looks like, but I kind of gotten used to it now and I think it's it's okay. Uh, let's see, can we get this like that? That way at least we get the fence. Let's see if we can align these fences together. We can align the fences together. There we go. Nice. <laughs> this is awesome. Uh, we can even maybe bring this up a bit. And there's so many RV. And and these are all all these RVs are the ones that are turning. Like most cars are not turning that much. I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, it's a very like Valentine's themed uh, interchange, this one. Uh, I 
I'm not sure I love this transition here, unfortunately. Let's see, can we improve it somehow? I feel like I need a few more nodes. Um, hmm. I feel like this one should be like a straight line. That's kind of what it, I think it should be. I guess I can just do that. And then... Yeah, it kind of feels like this should be somewhat like that. And this should be more like this. Definitely flows nicer in here now. Even though that this, yeah, the problem is this connection here just wonks the whole thing up. So maybe let's not do that. This is nicer now. And uh, we can connect this damn road, this damn road uh, up in here perhaps. So something like that. Just added the extra notes, that way I can shape this a little bit better in a minute here. Oh, that's not good. How the hell do I, where's, where's this node? Can I actually access this node somehow? Nope, that node doesn't exist, that's fine. Because now it's like going up, but I guess it's fine. Yeah, that's fine. This will be the entrance to the actual sort of complex here. At least that's, that's the plan. So I don't necessarily think we're gonna do a town, unfortunately, if, if you were expecting a town. Well, this 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 road right here, it's a dead end, yeah, but I'm, I'm gonna have, it's actually gonna be a shortcut into the, uh, this place. Can, oh, wait, wait a minute, can I do, I think I can get this to look nicer if I do this, for example. Yeah, there we go, now, now that way we can sort of transition using the same road network, and this one, Let's uh, turn this one into something else because this one is a, an American type of road. It wouldn't make sense here. I guess I can use the industrial one the uh, from, from Industries. I think it's this one, right? Yeah. Yeah, I like that one a lot, actually. In fact, I kind of want to do all of these to look like that. I won't be able to change this one instead, but um, also I don't want everything to be. Let's use the shortcut that we just learned. There we go, great. Uh, yeah, this is actually much cooler. I don't understand why they, they added the, uh, the wooden bollards. Actually, they're not wooden, they're like metal, but I don't know, I feel like that's not really necessary for this. Okay, um, so. I'm still kind of on the fence on how this curve looks. Like, I feel like these two curves should be like very similar to one another, but I might change that later. I don't necessarily want to spend time doing that right now. So let's move in this out just a touch. You could always do back roads as well. Yeah, I might actually do uh, a few back roads, uh, Josh. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure how big, I mean, this is now turning into a whole thing. Like this not was definitely not what I had planned, <laughs> but it, it's fun, it's fun. And I'm, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna finish this today, but we'll, we'll definitely gonna finish this in the next live stream, possibly uh, next Saturday. How long have I been streaming for? 145, yeah, that's not too bad. Let me 
actually send out another tweet that we're still live so that people that are out and about can actually uh, get a reminder that we're still streaming. Let's see. Let's see if we can improve this a little bit. Turn off snapping here for a second. Actually, what we want to do is this. Actually, probably this is not a good idea. Um, let's get rid of this and check out some of the buildings that we have, because we might be able to put like a like a industrial sort of building. Maybe one of these unique buildings. I never go through this menu. What is this? Oh yeah, no, I looked at this in the previous stream. This is way out of place, but actually this might look cool in the city itself. What building is this? The Alter After Wall Office. Okay. These are kind of ginormous and not really what we want. Yeah, I don't think we'll be able to use any of these, at least not for this. This is interesting. CS1. Is this like a TV station? Television station. Yes, it is. What about this? I feel like it's a little bit overkill for what we're trying to do. All right, let's go look at some uh, plippable garbage. No. Um... Hmm. What do we have in terms of Rico? Oh, we have some, some industrial things in here that are kind of interesting. They're a little bit too dark, I feel like. They look somewhat abandoned, which might look better in a another type of town, in another part of town, but like not here. Yeah, this looks too old school for like a modern electricity driven kind of thing. Take a look at the growables. In fact, let's go all the way down. Oh, beard monkey. Let's see. It's very modular. I think, I mean, this may work. I think this is it. We have all kinds of pieces here to, to make this look nice. Um, problem is they're a bit too small. What about this vanilla, giant vanilla thing? See what it looks like in white or maybe slightly darker so that it matches the same texture hmm probably not this one this one actually yeah this this is this is this is a fit okay what if we grab this thing and just put it like right up there I mean, I need to like align it somehow, right? So this could work. I can have it aligned like that. That's what happens uh, when you got a lot of people giving you suggestions. Yeah, the, the dam is glitching out a bit. Yeah, I mean, we're we're gonna fix that. I mean, this the, the way we fix that is by glitching more things into it. That's usually how, how we address things here. <laughs> the buildings give it a Sylvia touch. <laughs> yeah, I'm, what I'm trying to do is just uh, get some, like you said, uh, Thomas, get some, some industrial looking buildings. This one I think is like a perfect fit, honestly. It's just very like, grimy like maybe like 70s sort of looking we just need to add a few more road networks in in here um in fact can we maybe like what if we do something like this is this gonna like mess things up too much probably not Yeah, 
I guess we can grab the Terraformer network that we have on the other end, but we can have something like this. I mean, that's not too bad. If I do say so myself, there's no water here. <laughs> oh yeah, forgot about that. Uh, let's slow down the simulation a bit because I feel like this is gonna go way too crazy. Actually, it's probably not a great idea to let the simulation run for too much because then you may end up with some issues in the city. I still haven't figured out how to deal with the, um, the death sort of situation here. We have plenty of crematoriums everywhere and they don't seem to be spawning the maximum amount of uh, hearses that they could, so I don't, and I don't, I don't know what's happening with that. This looks pretty epic, though. I like it. Uh, so we could maybe even add a second one, something along these lines, just so that everything looks, you know, more appropriate. We can even bring this up. that much there's like a door there hmm probably not great uh but we could do maybe this instead just clip it enough that it makes more sense that is probably pretty good are you gonna deliver goods to that one? Apparently you are. That's that's good to know. This is not a garage door. Huh. It's not a garage door, but it's fine. <laughs> Max death care budget. Oh, interesting, I haven't considered that. Let's take a look. Uh, I don't even know where you change budgets. I never touched that in my city ever. Probably not in the options. City statistics? No, it's in here. I know. I know where. Like, it's in one of these buttons. Nope, not that one. Um, how do you get to the money thing? I thought it was like one of these. I feel like such a noob. I, I don't know how to see the skylines, man. Bank balance. Uh, it's, I, I know it's like one of these options, not that one. It's not city statistics. And it's not, it's not these. The money button besides the terraform. Money button besides the terraform. Oh yeah, you're right, there we go. Cool, so budget. So, okay, um, sure, let's let's increase uh, death care. I'm guessing it's, all, it's part of healthcare, right? I mean, why not? Let's just go crazy. We're making a profit anyway, so who cares? But also, if we weren't making a profit, who cares, right? Um, it's actually, sorry, I'm, I'm gonna pause this for a second. Let's see if, if this actually works. I mean, there's still quite a few of these. Let's increase the speed to 100%. There's so much death. It's possible that some of these uh, are buildings that are not necessarily connected to the road. But no, I, no, they should all be connected to the road. At least these ones are. This one is not, but I also like turned it off on purpose. So. Um, where do we have the crematorium? So let's take a look at that first. Death care. I mean, I, I think I have enough. Obviously, because the building is not very pretty, I'd like put it inside other buildings, because that's what you should do. It's funny how no one has come up with like a nice crematorium in the in the workshop. So see, hearses in use, two out of nine, but we have like tons of death like a block away. Why? Why is that? We don't have we don't have like storage issues or anything. It's like it ne it never goes beyond one or two. This is what I'm talking about. Too many numbers, yeah. Um, it will take a while to get into effect, but like, but this is weird. I don't know. Okay, well, sure. Let's let's go back to the dam and then we'll take a look at this uh, in a bit. 
So let's see. This road I'm kind of on the fence about, but I like the fence about it. <laughs> that was a terrible joke, and I understand if you want to leave the stream right now and never come back. I, I get it. I want to use this road instead. But the problem is that this road doesn't have a fence. Yeah, that's what I thought. Also, I... Yeah, no, it doesn't have a fence. Um, let's go back to the industrial one. That's okay. And while we're at it, let's grab this thing and put it to good use. There we go. So that fixed that issue. One, one, one step at a time here. So maybe if he had like parking garages, well, let's take a look at these other buildings that uh, we get to, uh, to play with. This one, no garage door. Nope. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do here. So I'm gonna skip it for now. This one we already used a whole bunch, so I would like to avoid keep using it. What is this one like? This one is a bit more modern, probably too modern. If you wanna to stick to this theme that uh, Beer Monkey put together, I think it's, uh, it's a good theme. So let's do that here. We're gonna need to add some parking for for the workers. Let's move this so that it's like the curve is aligned to that thing. And uh, right here, we'll probably have to add some, actually we can add some keys that may work in this very specific situation. Uh, where's the keys? The keys are here. And maybe we can use these like, this set of keys, perhaps. <laughs> Isn't there a crypt asset? It's overkill, but it looks nice. Yeah, uh, I mean, there's like, out of the hundreds of repackaged like vanilla crematoriums there are a couple that are okay there's like a like a mansion that's a nice crematorium but i mean there there's only like two or three and they're not even that good i don't think so unless there's something new in the in the workshop that i haven't seen so for now i just decided to keep the vanilla ones tucked into other buildings and call it a day um forget the city go back to a where it's simple yeah i know <laughs> There's less death here. There is death, just less of it. Josh gifting gifting another one, uh, another one of the subs to Mark Gwynn. Awesome, well, thank you, Josh. And uh, and Mark, welcome, welcome to the stream. Hope you enjoy your new sub and the brand new emotes that I was uh, greenlit by, uh, or, or that were greenlit, I say, by, by Twitch last night. They're brand new. There's only there's only uh, tier one <laughs> uh, emotes. I need to I need to upload the, the rest. But honestly, I don't know what to do on this. So um, if you have suggestions, do let me know. I hate that the camera bumps every time I do this. Uh, I'm concerned that the look and feel of these keys is, I mean, it's like a little bit cleaner. And I like it, but I feel like the texture is a little bit different than everything else around it. Actually, it kind of fits. I don't know. Uh, let's go all the way here. So let's grab this node. And... Uh... This is my first time. <laughs> That's kind of wonky. There we go, that's better. So now we have that bit of a wall there, but it's okay, I think. Hmm. You know what, let's bring this down. Cause everything like here is like way higher than it needs to be. 
now we can just straight up do that. And there's still a bit of a gap there, but it's not as bad. Though I do want to bring it all the way down if I can. So like, let's select all those. And make sure that, there we go. That's, that's much better. I think I want to add another segment here. I've been uh, seeing a lot of people post screenshots on Reddit where they just uh, like do this, which I think is a not a great look. Uh, obviously, this is the wrong key. Use the right key is better. But like you're building, let's say you're building a harbor area and you do this, it just rounds the corners. And that like, I mean, it's, it's nice in certain situations, but like in general, what you want to do for what these uh, places sort of look like is like this. You just have like a sharp edge. And this is like, I understand if you're playing the game in vanilla, you, you have no choice but to, do, but to do the rounded thing. But if you're playing in modded, which I've seen a lot of screenshots do, uh, just do this. It looks so much nicer. And if you have that over, you know, this uh, little sea fighting thing, just like the node, hold shift and page down and then you fix it. And that's it. So something to keep in mind. Uh, this, I think I wanted to keep it as a straight line. And uh, let's see, how can we bridge this gap? <laughs> oh my God, 4.30 a.m., man. Yeah, just go to bed. You can watch the rest tomorrow when you wake up. Have a good night, sir, and thank you for, for tuning in. a bit of a shy chat. I mean, there, I know there's like a couple people talking, but there's like almost 150 of you watching right now. And there's like, I feel like there's maybe 15, 20 people talking. Just ask questions. This is, consider this a Q and A. Uh, like if you have a problem with City Skylines or or if you have questions uh, for me of, of any caliber, I'll be happy to answer for you because otherwise I just keep explaining what I'm doing constantly and it might not be the most fun experience. So while you're here, if you're watching, feel free to, to type in the chat what you're thinking and uh, maybe we can all help out and maybe your question might have an answer that someone else might need. So yeah, go, go fire away. while I try to get the stupid keys to be aligned. They're not stupid, they're nice. I like vanilla keys, they're, they're actually really cool looking. That's nice, I like that a lot. Please don't bug me about the, the water notification thing. I haven't gotten the mod that disables that. I'm okay with it. <laughs> I know that there's a lot of people out there that are like, no, turn it off, it's bothering me. Well, what are you gonna do? Vil Vanilla Vin. Saludos de Argentina. <laughs> Saludos. Saludos para vos también. Okay, so this is getting there. I think this area right here will actually be where we have all the power stuff. So maybe we will need to come up with something like that. Like, I, I like having this, like, very, like, sort of sharp angles for this. I don't want to, like, necessarily curve everything. But usually these places are, like, very well planned out. And they have, like, all these, like, straight lines. So I think this area right here is going to be the, the this thing. It's going to have gravel at the bottom. This is where we're going to have all of our cabling. I think you need a graveyard before you build uh, a crematorium to work. Really? I don't think so. 
Huh. How do you, f how do you think that uh, that issue at the start of the series where the buildings would uh, abandon upon load? Uh, I don't know. It kind of fixed itself. I think there was a an update that fixed that, but I, I don't, yeah. I don't know, I haven't experienced that in a while. Uh, one thing that I would do, or that I'm actually trying to do, is to actually solve all the problems that the city has, so that will at least ease down on the potential abandonment of buildings. But yeah, no, I haven't done anything to actually fix it. It just kind of fixed itself. I did replace uh, like maybe like five or six buildings at some point and it just worked. I think there was maybe another mod conflicting, but I don't, I don't know. Uh, what assets, props uh, do you feel are absolutely necessary when building? Ooh, I mean, <laughs> how much time do you have? <laughs> um, so I have, uh, yeah, assets, props. Uh, so basically the ones that are like the most generic ones are, are usually the most useful. Sorry, I, by the way, I keep like doing things with my hair and like I'm looking at the, the thing and it's just my hair is a mess. Um, like for example, assets that you will probably need is, um, these are the ones I use on every single project. So uh, probably let's go here, concrete, Expansion. Well, first of all, the concrete wall. This one, super useful. Concrete retaining wall by uh, Los Gecko. Really, really useful. These uh, curves by uh, Arnold Rimmer as, as well. I've been using them a lot. These uh, concrete brushes. This is like, like these came out like when the game came out. It's a really old kind of asset. All it does is just creates a patch of uh, of pavement, but it's nice. Uh, when you use it in combination of with surface painter as it surface painter has like the jagged edges around it when when you know where you're trying to do things Planters of all kind the more generic the better are really useful now that I'm looking at this uh, What else uh, the I was gonna look for the oh, yeah a, a ploppable surfaces from Ronix basically Ronix has a whole bunch of like really If I can type uh, a lot of uh, really Generated, generated looking assets like the line network decals and all these like hedges obviously the train tracks uh, if you want to go that route but all of these will pretty much work on every city ever so make sure to get uh, most of these uh, I also this is th these are from uh, Peter Monkey made these for me uh, a while back the concrete expansion joints well, no sorry just the expansion joints um which are great if you want to like break apart a large chunk of uh, for example let's say you have this here this blank sort of uh repetitive texture so what you do is you grab the expansion joints there's a grassy version and a plain version and this allows you let me actually move it in place so imagine i have this i can just put a few of these and break the texture apart a little bit and makes everything much more detail and all I had to do is just add some expansion joints which in this case I don't need because pavement doesn't really need expansion joints but something to keep in mind uh, let's see what else can't think I mean I'm sure I'm missing a million honestly all of these like walls in general the network walls are like really really useful what is this thing? Oh, it's just a high school. Cool. Um, then, I mean, props like this, like fences, cars of many kinds that you want to, you know, magically fill your, your parking lots. Oh, by the way, parking lot roads also kind of mandatory at this point. Like it can't work on any projects that doesn't have this, this set of parking lot uh, roads. These are from uh, Bad Idea. He also put together some, uh, some, uh, pedestrian paths I think this is a bad ideas as well yeah this one is kind of glitchy but it when it works it's like amazing so highly recommended yeah that that will that will probably where where I would start <laughs> I know I can put graveyards in the city uh, I just I actually have a graveyard I have like a visual graveyard already here yep. this is hasn't solved the issue by the way increasing the thing for some reason, it's missing all the trees. Oh yeah, because the, the trees were part of network skins. Oh boy, I need to come back and add a whole bunch of trees. But we do have a graveyard here. 
Uh, I don't think this actually works as a graveyard. It's just a park. But that's why I have a crematoriums because I don't really care about having the vanilla graveyards or yeah, a functional graveyard for that matter. I just want something that looks like a graveyard. And I probably add it more, but I don't think that will solve the issue, unfortunately. Look, yeah, we have like so much death everywhere. I think the actual solution, honestly, will be to put down a whole bunch of uh, crematoriums. Here, let's, let's go crazy a little bit here. If we put a few of these, like in all kinds of places. I know, I know your eyes might be bleeding right now from like how gross this looks, but. You see now like a whole bunch of them are spawning, but like this one is like four of nine. Let's see, two of nine, two of nine, two of nine, two of nine, three of nine, three of nine, seven of nine. Like, I don't know what, like wh why that works that way. Look, immediately half of the things are gone. I guess I just need more of them because they're somehow limited by who knows what, I don't know. Flipping Fred Fryder, welcome. I'm glad you made it to the stream. <laughs> Josh, that's gross. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gross, but it works. I should probably add more of those, but you know, hidden in the in the buildings. Yeah, I mean, I have a fair amount, but I guess I need to up up the situation a bit more. In this area, we might my we could use a few more. Uh, it seems like, but for now, I think that works. We'll just ignore that. Soyland Processing Center. <laughs> yep, pretty much. Have you have you actually tasted Soyland? I have. It's it's not too bad, but it's like ugh. it's hard to like not think about the actual popular culture reference for Soyland, if that makes sense. All right, let's put some fences in here. I don't think I have the assets for the electric stuff, unfortunately. But this will do. At least for now. And uh, we already have some power lines coming through here, right? If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, we have these like sort of wooden power lines which is not necessarily the type that I would run from a dam, but I would probably, I guess we can have like some high tension power lines running. I don't have any, right? Yeah. What about these ones? I think these ones are the same. No, these are just concrete. I mean, these might be better than the wooden ones, to be honest. I definitely don't want to use these vanilla ones. There's better ones in the workshop I might get later. But yeah, this one may work a little bit better. Do you have any projects like FBS in mind for the future? Um, not really. Um, yeah, I don't have any like city, like large collabs around City Skylines planned. We might do a few streams, a few collab streams uh, later this year. We've been talking about that, but uh, Flux has been very busy and so has Jay and uh, so yeah, I, I don't know. Um, we might do something like that, but probably not a full series, at least not for a while, unfortunately. We, I still need a break from FPS. That, that was a, I can't believe we managed to, to stay on schedule for that long. It was certainly a lot of work. Yeah, not gonna do this. Um, yeah, I don't have the right assets either. I guess I can just do this and just make it look really gross. Yeah, no. this, this is gonna need more work than that. So we have that there. Let's see. I've been poking fun, but to be honest, if I was playing the game, I would put a road down and then everything will be on fire. <laughs> That's usually how it begins. So yeah, don't be discouraged by that. Just have to keep pushing through. <laughs> How big will you make this city? Um, I don't know. As big as I, as I feel like, honestly. I, I don't. I try not to like plan that aspect of the city too much. Like if I feel like I can it 
need to keep expanding it, then I will. Uh, the core of the city is probably going to get slightly bigger than what it already is. Like we might expand some like medium density all the way up to here and then everything else is going to be suburbs. And then maybe on this side, we're going to have another like a tiny cluster of medium density. Uh, we're going to need to add some industrial up on this uh, or down on this corner. And uh, obviously stretch to more suburbs down in this area as well. But yeah, that's... Uh, that's about it. I think we're gonna, th this is a, a giant mountain. So I don't think we're gonna have a lot of buildings up here because you know, getting a road to climb this up this, this high is probably gonna be a little bit tough. I will have to terraform this whole place down and I don't necessarily wanna do that. But you know, I've been known to change my mind. I said I also didn't wanna have like super tall buildings and I like at the beginning of the stream, I had like super tall buildings here. So, you know. It's an ever ending process. And sometimes someone in the chat has like an amazing idea and I implement it and then everything changes forever. So yeah. Josh, wow, the bits. Just don't uh, build too close to the sun, Chris. <laughs> I don't think I got that reference. <laughs> uh, can I get permission to post a link to an electrical transformer for the dam? Yes, you can. In fact, I think I whitelisted Steam Workshop links. So yeah, by all means, let me see if Nybot is actually properly configured now. I am not a huge fan of this curves, man. I, I really feel like I want to change that. Okay, let's take a look at this. I'm actually gonna copy the link and paste it on on here so that everyone can see it. Oh yeah, I've seen this one. This one is kind of old. Uh, look, April 2015. There's there's much better ones than this. Uh, the one I'm thinking about is the one I've, I've used like a million times before. What was it? Uh, power. I mean, let's just search for power. I've used it in FBS. Let me go into into the FBS collection. It basically has like a whole bunch of assets already kind of built in. I used it in Sinu too, on literally on episode two of Sinu or episode one for that matter. Where was this? Oh, maybe it's on the other collection. Here, let's take a look at the Sinu collection. Uh, <laughs> it should have been one of the first ones I added to the collection. I'm pretty sure. probably gonna add now because then I'm gonna forget what it's called I added an oil extractor to see you know, that made no sense um, by the way for those who have no idea Sinu is like one of my older city skylines projects you can check it out on my youtube channel which should be linked down below I love I love taking advantage of those segways to to plug all of my stuff you should also probably follow me on Twitter because uh, since I'm not currently keeping a schedule in terms of streaming for, for Twitch, I do tweet when whenever I'm planning on doing things. That's the only way um, I currently have to announce things. And also the Discord server, which is right now only available for patrons and Twitch subs. So if you have your uh, Discord account linked to either Patreon and or Twitch, you'll be able to get access to it. This one, power substation, found it. See, it's, it's, and it's also not like the best, it's pretty old too, but but it works. Actually, this is version two. It's very, very nice. It just comes in with everything that you see here. Let's, uh, let me add it to the collection real quick so that way I don't forget. I'm not gonna sub now because it's gonna break my game probably, but yeah. I'm not sure how I feel about this, this specifically this segment of the road. Feels like not, not good. I don't think it transitions well with this. Um, maybe get rid. Maybe we should get rid of that. And 
kind of want to try to match it to this one. Sorry that I'm like redoing this, but I just can't. I won't be able to sleep at night if we don't get this fixed right away. And also this should be more like that. I love how it just like gets spasms. Just all like epileptic on the floor. Um, so, see, I want something that's more like planned like that. So maybe by having a straight line here it might help with this layout a little bit. Can I not select the uh, key, please? Josh, Josh is suggests to to saving to my channel. Thank you. <laughs> I was suggesting building an Ikea, but I f still feel like that all could be, would be complete with some low density commercial areas, hardware stores. Yeah, oh no, we, we're definitely gonna do that. Um, maybe possibly on the other side of the bridge, I don't know. But yeah, I definitely wanna add like some like classic uh, European suburbs with, with big like grocery store chains and something like that. Nailer also uh, just subscribed and is taking, <laughs> Or, sorry, uh, Nealer. Nealer? Did I get that right? He's uh, uh, using the, the brand new toaster emote, which is technically my old logo, but yeah. Welcome, welcome to the stream. Uh, I'm subscribed to both on Twitch as of today at Patreon, but I still don't have access to your Discord. Really? Um, do you, did you actually link the accounts? Um, if, if, if so, uh, just send me a private message on, on Twitch or even on Discord and I'll send you a, an invite link. That way you don't, don't miss it. Um, you're not the first one to tell me that, so I'm not entirely sure what is going on, but I did see some people like automatically join, uh, with the linked accounts. So yeah, I need to, I need to explore what's, what's happening there. Let me make this. A line like that to see what it looks like. In fact, we might even just. Where's the note? I think the note is here, so let's keep these two nodes aligned. I hate that like bumping that happens every time you like move stuff around like this. It's so annoying. So we might be able to maybe bring this down like that, just a touch. Now the question is, is this an improvement? I feel like th this needs to be like aligned more like towards that side. Or no. I feel like this needs to be a much nicer curve. Let's let's start with that. So I think that's what's bothering me the most. Okay, so that's like a much more rounded curve. And I think we can try something similar here and uh, maybe even here. Something like that. See, that somehow feels slightly better. Now I need to like fix everything else that I broke, but yeah. It looks like a butt. It kind of looks like a butt, yeah. But if I add, <laughs> I was gonna say, if I add trees, it will look like hairs on a butt. So like, that's not a good image. <laughs> um. You gotta go. All right. Thank you. Thank you for the sub. Have a have a good uh, rest of your day, sir. Do you have a, a little hotel or resort in Idle that uh, would fit nicely? I, I mean, technically any building could be a hotel, but no, I don't have like a dedicated resort or building of of that uh, that caliber in Idle. 
maybe maybe something like that might, might work in the future. I don't know. I mean, there's so many. There, honestly, I can add a million things to the city. Like everything will fit in Nida or any other other cities that I made. Just need to prioritize that. Like a dam. Like if you ask me, hey, can you build a dam? Like literally last week, I would tell you, no, there's no way I'm gonna build a dam. And here we are. So you never know. You never know. Okay. Um, I think I think I'm, I'm feeling better about this one. Let's 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 fix what we broke. Where's the node? Show me the node. Here's the node. Also, this needs to be fixed. This node needs to be. Um, how do I make it so that this node is like right in between the two? Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to use that, but this node should be like right here. So it's equidistant between this node and this other node. So I could do this and then I could do that. So that creates a much more interesting slope. And hopefully, if I use this tool, nope, there's something wrong with this curve. There we go. So now, now it's fine. This, on the other hand, should be mostly OK. It is now. Great. And uh, yeah, now it's, that thing is clipping there, but we can do that, and that should fix that. There we go. Oh man, I miss your your shout out. When was this? Here, let's do it again. What would I want, Sky? It's, it's gonna run after this one. I'm gonna run it again and, and get you the, the proper the proper shout out. Thank you so much for subbing and welcome to the stream and for the bits. I, man, I'm sorry. For some reason, I, I'm all using my headphones. That's why I can't hear all the notifications here. Let me, let me get my headphones on. And uh, that possibly will make things a little bit easier. So let me increase the volume of the, of the bits. Uh, Chofo Flex says, uh, hey, Strict, it's my birthday today, uh, and I want to get myself a nice uh, office chair. What's the one that I use? So the one I use, I actually really like it, but it's, it's, can you, can you hear that? It's, it's very old, and I got it from, like, a co-worker, like, seven years ago. I have no idea. I'm, I'm actually trying to buy a new version of this chair, and I, it doesn't have any labels anywhere, which sucks. The other chair that I'm thinking of getting is the uh, Herman Miller uh, Embody chair. I've, I had that at work and it's it's pretty comfortable and it's great for your lumbar support and all of that. Um, I suggest you take a look at some of the reviews online first. There's a whole bunch of videos on that chair uh, on, on, on YouTube. And uh, yeah, it's like, like the de facto office chair uh and, and it comes in like a whole bunch of colors it's, it's kind of pricey it's like i think it starts at around 1200 bucks but I've, i have found that uh design within reach has like a warehouse uh like website kind of thing where they have like deals and i found it for like 700 or something like that so something to keep in mind yeah but i've been looking to replace this chair as well i love this one it's really comfortable but it's it's loud <laughs> and there's no way I can like adjust it. Like I already like tighten every bolt and it's just not working. So yeah. Yeah, Herman Miller chairs are, are, are pricey. Yes, but uh, they're cool <laughs> and comfortable. And I'm not, not a huge fan of the gaming racing chairs. I don't think they look particularly nice. So if you have one, that's fine. I, I hear they're really comfortable. I'll give you that. But aesthetically, they're 
not my cup of tea. Cool. And happy birthday, of course. <laughs> okay. Um, all right, I'm not, I'm not planning on changing this again. In case you were wondering. Let's, let's fix this up though. All right, so this fence might be a little bit too tall once we actually put down the, the power line stuff. But uh, also this, is this? the way this is supposed to work. I think this needs to be lowered. And when I moved it at some point, yeah. Oh no, this thing is all a touch. Is this really how it looks? I'm not entirely sure. Oh wait, Movid has like the, I might be able to target this, right? Nope. Uh, let's select everything. Now it's all like one building, right? How do I select the, oh, I can select the nodes, look. But how, what, how do I select the, the thing below? That's what I would like to know. Is it a building? Yes, it is a building, okay. So I can do that, but that doesn't change this thing. I think this is actually part of the terraforming thing below. Yeah, let's see if we can bring this down by doing this. Maybe, perhaps. Doesn't seem to be doing much of anything. Nope. Let's undo that. I mean, it looks kind of weird. It shouldn't be like this, right? How do you like the Industries DLC? Uh, it's not it's not one of my favorite DLCs, to be honest. Um, I, I, I like some of the assets that they added, like this road right here. I love this road and uh, some of the toll booths I might actually use, but it just added a lot of uh, simulation stuff that I don't really care about. So yeah, I haven't used much, so yeah. I think there, if, if you're, I mean, if you're watching my videos, I'm assuming you're mostly interested in detailing. The best DLCs for detailing, uh, I would suggest Park Life, probably like at the very top. Um, uh, Mass Transit is also a great DLC to to own. Uh, I'm blanking on on some of the other DLCs honestly right now. Let's see. I mean, I have I have them all, but uh, let's see. Natural Disasters, avoid that one. Not very good, I don't think. After Dark, uh, of course, uh, that one is kind of a must. If you, if you care about nighttime, and I think he added some extra things. Green Cities has some interesting, you know, green related uh, props that are that I've been using a whole bunch, but they're not necessarily, I think there's better ones in the workshop. You don't necessarily have to like go purchase that. Content uh, Creator Pack, Euro European Suburbs, 100% 100, uh, 100 recommended. These This is by um, Avanya. Um, you're definitely going to need to prop it up to remove the vanilla props if you're going to use those, but not only you'll be helping a fellow creator because uh, she, I think she gets a cut from, from the sales from that, but it's also a great content uh, package. All of the servers in Nidal are those houses almost exclusively, so highly recommend it. Hopefully, hopefully that answered your question. Let's see, can we actually salvage this somehow? Because now we have this like thing here, which I'm not entirely sure. You know what, since we have such a, because we used to have like a much steeper curve here, we don't really need this key anymore, I don't think, don't we? Let's, I mean, let's see, let's do this right. 
Yeah, we might get away with the uh, concrete walls now. Which will make things significantly easier. Let's grab uh, this segment that we have here. Put it here. And I also don't want to... I don't think I'm going to spend so much time detailing this plan other than what I'm about to do. Instead, I'm going to focus on getting all the nature stuff done. Uh, you know, put the rocks back in place and stuff like that. So that it, everything looks... Uh, a little bit better. I did hear that notification. Leader of Monkeys <laughs> is now hosting with like 62 people. Holy crap. And she just resubbed twice. Thank you. Thank you, Maddie. That's that's very nice of you. We're talking about all the potential uses for, for PO in this build I'm about to... Well, this build I've been working on for, for a bit now. <laughs> Since you offered, actually, since you offered uh, help with PO, I was thinking maybe we can do that live so that ev other people can learn too. So maybe we can schedule something like that. That'd be, that'd be a fun dual stream sort of thing. Or after you're done, I mean, whatever. <laughs> whatever is easier. Yeah, we need to add some like concrete walls in here just to make it all look nice. Uh, let's see. Stop snapping to things. All of my snapping is turned off. And okay, now it's now it's really off. I guess it wasn't that off. It was partially off because there's like two types of snapping this one and the other one and it's annoying this one is fine because i have a shortcut but this one you actually have to go in and check it <laughs> po up okay so sorry i keep saying po but like i understand that maybe half of the people here don't know what that is so po uh, is uh procedural objects it's a mod that allows you to and please correct me if i'm wrong um, so let's say you have this building, right? So you would select this building, convert it to PO with like a menu on the screen, and then it basically turns in every vertex into an editable node that you can select and, you know, do all kinds of crazy things. So for example, let's say you have, again, this, this building is an example. You can select, for example, the nodes on this edge, the, like this face, and then bring it towards, you know, this side of the camera, for example. And that way you can have the same building, except it's just stretched out a little bit longer and you can create your own, basically your own custom buildings. It's like 3D Studio Max for City Skylines. That's what it is. Does the network wall uh, block water? No, I don't think so. You can just put this in there. In fact, it, it, I think it behaves just like this one, just water runs through it. So yeah, only I think only the terrain blocks water everything else i can put this building in here and it won't block water unless i race it and it raises a drain with it if that makes sense this is much cleaner than before by the way i'm i'm really happy with this i also think that maybe this road shouldn't be this type of road and maybe it should be this that way i can actually put some pavement here and it will look nicer and we're going to oh, we got some more bits from josh Thank you for explaining PO. Yeah, I'm sorry. Whenever I, I say something and it doesn't make a lot of sense, even if you think it's going to be a stupid question or anything, please do ask in the chat and I'll I'll do my best to to explain things. The, the whole point here is not only to for you to watch me play the game, but also to learn how to play the game yourself. At least that's what I, whenever I watch other people's videos or streams, like that's mostly what I want to get out of, so. You know, you know how they say make the content that you wanna that you that you would wanna watch. That's the content that I would like to watch. So yeah, there are no dumb questions here, unless you ask a dumb question. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, this I think I wanna keep it at an angle. That way, if traffic hits this wall, there's like a bit of a deflection angle sort of thing. Josh, you never play the game? Oh man. If you like uh yeah, if you like sandbox games, you're you're in for a treat. Because this game, I mean I'm I'm not even like the one that has the most hours, but like I've synced about twenty two hundred hours in this game, just so you know. <laughs> uh and there's people in the chat that I know have played way more. <laughs> 
than this. All right, let's align that there. Yeah, you should make videos, uh, Maddie. At least upload your vods. Like, I've been, I've, I've been getting. Um, we've been trying to like figure out at the beginning of the stream whether or not I should have, uh, uh, like, cut some of the vods instead of just straight up uploading them to YouTube as as they come. I might actually do that. We'll see. Maybe this is the first one that's actually edited. Who knows? Takes some time. Definitely takes some time. All right. Pluggable pavement. No, it's not pavement. I want the asphalt. Pluggable asphalt. And surfaces. I ne I know that like a second ago I said I wasn't going to detail this thing and I'm totally detailing this thing even though I don't have all the assets that I think I will need. But I guess, yeah, I guess it's happening. So let's see, let's put this in here. Try to align it with something. Maybe that column over there, that's probably fine. Should be fine. Solid Wolf, just subscribe. Welcome to the stream and enjoy the brand new toaster emotes. Maddie, I have I have toaster emotes. I don't know if you saw them, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we've been we've been getting a lot of uh, toaster emotes in the chat. Thank you for the sub again, uh, Solid Wolf. Uh, I like the game, of course, but uh, I use mods and then my crappy PC takes 10, 10 minutes to load. Dude, every like I have. I have, okay, so my specs right now, the, the PC that I'm using, I'm using a 9700K processor with 64 gigs of RAM and a 1080 Ti. And it takes like six or seven minutes to boot up. That's just how the game, like, that's that's how it works. Once it boot ups, you're fine. But it, low time is it's terrible for everyone, even if you have a supercomputer from like NASA or the Chinese government or something. So yeah, don't, don't use that as your uh, as, as your gauge to see whether or not you have a good computer. <laughs> Honestly, the game uses a lot of RAM and a lot of video RAM, but mostly just regular RAM. So if you have at least eight gigs of RAM, you can play a pretty decent modded. I mean, probably not as crazy as what I have right now. This consumes at least like 24 gigs of RAM, but you can get away with a lot with only eight gigs of RAM. So I, I, I encourage you to, to give that a shot. Okay, how do I get, uh, what are these notes? Oh, this is the fence note, okay. I wanna maybe raise this terrain up so that it kind of clips the pavement, perhaps? Or maybe not. I think that will be the only way to do this. So what I need to do next is grab this and bring this down? No, I will have the same issue. Hmm. Let's bring that back up. Yeah, I mean, so I upgraded from 32 gigs of RAM to, uh, to 64 and I saw like no change at all. I'm like, ugh, really? Uh, when I up upgraded from, I have a 980 Ti running the stream right now, and I have the 1080 Ti on my gaming PC. And again, switching from those, like I did see a, a bit of a slight improvement upgrading from the 10, uh, 980 Ti to the 1080 Ti, mainly because one has six gigs of VRAM and the other one has 11. But it was very minor. I think I gained like three FPS. When I upgraded the RAM, I saw like zero FPS gain, like nothing. So. Yeah. Four gigs of RAM. Yeah, four gigs of RAM. It's it's probably kind of pushing it a little bit. Yeah. You you can still like get some. So here's the thing. Uh, in your case, what I would do is play. You can play with vanilla assets. You can get you can get very far with vanilla assets. All you need to do is a couple mods that affect the way the colors are rendered, and you disable some vanilla things like you know get prop it up. 
and disable the purple ground and all that stuff that's kind of nasty from the vanilla game. And then you could just use the vanilla assets uh, and you can actually get away with a lot just with vanilla assets because there are some good buildings. I mean, th th this building right now, this is vanilla. I haven't gotten this from the workshop and I'm trying to, you know, I'm using like very basic assets just to make it look nice. So that's something that you might want to consider. Okay, how do I bring this stuff up? Is what I would like to know. CS depends more on CPU than RAM? No, that's not true uh, at all. My CPU usage is like never like, I mean, right now I can show you. It's very low. Look, I'm 40% I'm CPU usage. Uh, when I was on my old like i5, I was also getting like 30% CPU. It's definitely uh, VRAM and RAM heavy, way more than anything. I mean, if you have a really low end CPU, sure, you're gonna be bottleneck. But if you have like a i5 or above, like your CPU, you're not gonna notice any difference uh, whatsoever. Unless you have like the crazy version of T, uh, the traffic manager that has like better AI and stuff like that. But honestly, yeah. I've, I've never used it. I haven't had a, a good use for it either. Let's get rid of some of that. So I think there's a good, a good time, uh, a good sort of stopping point for detailing this thing. Maybe get rid of this. We're gonna we're gonna transition into getting the edges of the river looking much nicer now. Uh, over here, I think we need to figure this out though. Let's grab this thing, put it there, and bring it up. There we go, that was an easy fix. I wasn't expecting to go for that to go that smoothly, honestly. But I guess it works. Can I curve this to like make that better? I guess I can. I can do that. And now I can just simply grab maybe a few more of these. Let's try to maximize the the placement of these so I don't have to put a million. So something like that works, I think. Cuboid, of course. I, I, I was sure that you were part of that hosting uh, spree from like a minute ago. <laughs> Why? I don't want to scroll. There we go. I just want to be able to see uh, the alerts. I heard removing AVO helps frames quite a bit. Oh, please don't tell me AVO improves frame rate because I want to get rid of it. Otherwise, <laughs> why are you so mean, Cuboid? I disabled network skins because of a comment like that. And I, and I did gain like a three or four FPS, which was worth it. Uh, Network Skins was, is a great mod. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. And I missed it a little bit, but AVO will definitely make my life. Actually, I mean, let, here, let's take a look at it. I'm disabling this nasty thing with AVO. I'm mostly used it to disable things. Oh yeah, no, I don't think I'll be able to play this game with this thing running on my streets. So this game is on PS4, love trophies. Should I get it for the PS4 or just get for PC? <laughs> uh, you're, yeah. Okay, so I'm like 200% biased on this. Get it on PC. Uh, I played, so if you go to my channel, Josh, you can go, uh, I did a, a live stream uh, with the PS4 version of this game. It, 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 was, it was fun poking, you know, like how, how limited the game was on, on ps4 uh you can get you can get away with with a lot of things in, in ps4 um but if you yeah if you have like an okay computer i would just get it for pc honestly and there, there's so much more you can do on another pc version than the console version even for xbox yeah moe to trash delete that how do how, you can actually delete this can you actually delete vanilla assets is really that here and selling move it gives you 20 extra FPS. <laughs> uh, 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 very clever, very clever. Wait, really? Hey, Q boy, we need to we need to talk. I think 
Can you do like a light version of move it, maybe? You heard that the vanilla low commercial buildings improve FPS? I actually agree with that because I'm using a lot of low uh, low commercial uh, buildings that are vanilla. So jokes on you. <laughs> Anyways, that's why I'm using mostly AVO4. Oh, you know what we should do? You know what we should do? This is what we should do. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's Let's do this. Yeah, okay, I think I need to do like the custom one, unfortunately, because it's a bit too thick for this. Uh, Cuboid, by the way, um, you're working on optimizing it right now in a way that I think you've mentioned. Oh, please tell me that you're going to make the parking thing go away or, or this. I was I was just struggling a lot with this earlier today with the um, with the keys here. Let me Man, I hate that keys are not searchable. Um, I was having, I was doing this and check this out. Uh, see if I can replicate it. Like you see how it like bounces the camera around. I hate that so much. It's so annoying, especially if you're trying to like be very precise with what you're doing. I hope that's what you're talking about. If not, that's okay. I don't, I don't need to deal with keys so often that I care about that, but that's definitely a nice to have. All right, so let's get that there. Have you guys used this like new, uh, what, what are they called? The transition decals or whatever, network, uh, road marking thingies. They're awesome. They're really cool. I think we're gonna have to just keep it there so that it doesn't like conflict too much to that. That's not what you meant. That's fine. That's fine. I hope you meant the parking other thing, like the thing that like makes the whole simulation slow. If not, that's fine too. Any optimization of any kind is very welcome. I know most people won't, but I actually would pay money for like DLCs that optimize things as opposed to adding more things. I mean, they can just like offset it by adding like one tiny asset just to justify the optimization gains. But yeah. So I think we want something like this. Uh, except I don't think I want those two lines to touch each other. So let's do that and let's do this. I think this is the curvature of the road should be something along these lines, right? Come on. I think that is what I want. Oh, is the water that messes with the keys? Hmm. Yeah, these are amazing. I freaking love these. What a great idea. I hope he adds more because I noticed that it's kind of hard in certain places. Like here, for example, like I'm not entirely sure what to do. Maybe I should add a second one. I think that's probably what I should do. Let's see, um, will a second one even help here? It will be super hard to match the, uh, the hatch lines. Yeah, no, I don't think this is possible. <laughs> Water barrels in this game. I don't, um, I don't know if you're joking or not. Like you said, you never play City Skylines, but there's a whole meme in this game about water, the the barrels that were just recently released. 
Oh, okay. No, you you meant for traffic. Okay, <laughs> so I thought you you meant like the pallets. There's like an asset that came out with the latest DLC. I thought that's what you were joking about. Um, I think they're actually barrels, right? Yeah, <laughs> these ones. This ones are vanilla, and they have like a million tries, which is like totally unnecessary. They're like incredibly detailed for no reason. But yeah, I could I could use some of these uh, traffic, uh, like drum, like water filled barrels. Uh, I just wanted like the hatch lines to like occupy the whole width. That's that's all I was trying to do here. I was thinking to myself, wow, he he like picks up some. He's quick at picking up uh, some of the the community <laughs> uh, memes that are going on. Uh, if you just use AVO for disabling vehicles, why not use the loading screen mod for disabling vanilla prefabs? Because I use a lot of vanilla. I guess, yeah, I guess I can blacklist them. Yeah, that's a good call, actually. You're right, because you, you basically put together a list, right, of the things that you don't like. Interesting. Yeah, that's solid. Well, you know what? I need to, like, actually write this down, because otherwise I will forget. So let's grab notepad. <laughs> Thank you for that suggestion. I haven't thought of that it, that way. We'll see how many how many extra FPS we get out of. Uh, what else am I using AVO for? If I disable it, um, I mean, yeah. Look at these things. Sports car. Yeah, I don't think I'm editing. I think I, I might be editing some of the colors on some of these cars. To be honest, too. Because like the vanilla colors have like, they just don't look very good. But I mean, at that point, I might as well just disable everything, honestly. I don't know. Yeah, I'll give it a shot. I mean, worst case scenario, we'll just have some random vehicles and I'll notice them and then I'll bring AVO back. I mean, if, if we really get that many FPS back, who cares, right? Uh, you remember the trailer on a truck on the last stream? Yeah, I did. I think I, I can, I mean, if that truck, if that's a problem, I'll just get rid of the asset altogether. I really don't care. I, I have like multiple versions of that truck. I think it comes with the trailer and, and non-trailer variants. Man, all these stupid RVs, like what is, what is up with this? Like I would like to have a few of these, but like why do they keep spawning constantly? I don't, I don't get it. Uh, I'm not sure how I feel about this hatch line here. Like, what, what do you guys think? Should I leave it? Because I don't think I'll be able to have it, you know, occupy the whole space. <laughs> Why is the city name says another night all? Uh, so basically on every video that I post, I get like one or two people commenting on how, like, first of all, on what night all means in their uh and their language primarily people from sweden and norway specifically norway because actually nidal is a city in norway and a lot of people saying like oh is this based on that city in 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 norway and i'm i'm always like no that's this is another nidal so i just ended up changing it to another nidal it's kind of really dumb especially if i have to <laughs> explain it out loud but yeah it was just like a like a frustration like oh okay Screw it. I'm just going to change it to another night all and that's it. But yeah. Also, I noticed that there was a truck doing a weird turn here. So that's not allowed. Let's get that fixed. And while we're at it, I'm sure this is a problem here as well. So let's just really force all of the lanes to their respective directions. I think that should work. Yeah, so th for those of you who are tuning in, the, the, the whole reason why we're doing this thing, like we started the stream because I wanted to have a turnaround. Okay, I can actually show you on the other side of the map because we also need to fix this issue here. So half of these cars, all of these RVs, most of these RVs, 
you can see that there's nothing else here. Like there's the edge of the road that connects back there. And then this car is driving. And if I turn on the direction where they want to go, you will see that the car like is going this direction. And then somewhere along the line is turning around and going back where it came from. I don't understand why they're doing that. I think it's a game bug because this makes absolutely no sense to me. So what I'm doing is, I mean, the, the issue that I'm trying to solve is if you follow the path all the way to here, there's a ton of cars just making U-turns on this, on this split. And that happened not only with the cars coming from this side of the road, but also this one. So just to keep things easy, I wanted to create a small interchange here so that they can make a U-turn and then go back from where they came from. And that whole thing sprung into me putting down a dam and then a river and a little man-made lake and a whole bunch of other things. So, yeah. It's not that they're just stores. They're like cars that are like immediately leaving the city. As you can see, here's the same thing. In fact, if I select this one, you see they're coming from there. This one is actually going to the city probably, but... Like this one just came from here and now it's like wanting to turn around like literally like the edge is right here i don't understand what, what's happening <laughs> burn it i wish i wish i could <laughs> where do you live i live in the great city of another nidal there's uh there's this company here that in LA that um, I never understood why they would do it like that, but it's like a company that rents uh, construction equipment like like porta potties, you know, like those like portable toilets that you see in construction sites, and fences for construction sites, and it's called uh, there's one called Un Andy Gump, and then there's another one that named the company another Andy Gump or something like that. I'm maybe getting the name slightly wrong, but like, why would you like, in my mind, I think it's like, maybe it's like old like business partners that got into a fight and they like both wanted the name. So like the other one was pissed and they just, they just picked that name. But just like, why? There's so many, like who gives crap about why the name of your company is? As long as you have a good service, that's all that matters. You could just name it Poo and it, people will still actually, Here's a great example. Look at this company. I'm actually thinking of buying their products because they're really good. But uh, is it? I think it's like three eyes, right? Yeah. Is it loading? I don't know. It's really slow. I think I'm missing S C there. This shit is bananas. This is like the actual name of the company and they run with it. Like they actually, there's a whole backstory to the name, but like they, they embrace it. And it's just like, it, the name of the company is shit and all their products are shit products. <laughs> and it's awesome. They, they build DAX and stuff like that in case you were wondering, but yeah. What browser is that? That is Opera. Been using it for many years now. And the main reason why I use it is there's two reasons why I use it. One, because, because uh, it has the same rendering engine as Chrome. Chrome is super slow, so I, don't, I hate Chrome. I don't like slow browsers. Opera is super fast and responsive. And the other thing that Opera has that as far as I know, no other browser has is picture in picture. So I can actually go on YouTube, click a button, and then it extracts the video from YouTube and it puts it on an always on top window on the corner of the screen. So I could like do, for example, let's see, let's, let's go a little crazy here. Let's see, what, what do I have that I can, for example, let's let's grab uh, let's grab approach uh, mediums uh, video. I just extracted from YouTube, and now it's just a tiny little window that I can like resize and move anywhere on the screen, so I can actually do work while I watch other people's videos. Shout out to Approach Medium, by the way. You should, if you like trains, uh, he's he's doing some some awesome stuff. Uh, you can see here, it's like City Skylines on steroids. He's like literally placing traffic lights manually. Uh, Check him out on, on YouTube. 
but yeah, those are the main two reasons why, why I use Opera. The one thing I don't like about Opera is that it's owned by like a Chinese company that may be tracking my crap, but you know, as long as I get something decent in return, I'm mostly okay with it. And my second browser, the one I use when I have like other accounts logged in is Firefox. That has gotten it slightly faster, but it's still pretty freaking slow. <clears throat> you could test it later, Monk, it's too late. But I mean, she's not streaming. I guess I can go into Twitch and, and, and do picture in picture. Everyone, by the way, everyone watching this right now should also be uh, following uh, uh, Leader of Monkeys on, on Twitch. She's in the chat right now. Uh, she she does what I'm doing here, but like uh, at a much deeper level too. She really goes in detail about everything she does. So check her out. Uh, Milo Podesta solved my problem. Let's see, maybe I missed that. Also, I hate scrolling on this thing. It like, it scrolls, <laughs> it also scrolls my, my game when I'm trying to scroll chat. Okay, screw it, I don't, I don't care. Um, can we follow a card maybe? I may have missed that. James, uh, what was the link that you posted? Uh, I, I did whitelist the Steam Workshop, but if there's another... Yeah, I guess I could whitelist Twitch as well. I, I, okay, here, I'll, I'll do it. Might be, might be easier. Oh, what's YouTube? Okay. I need to, I need to, I might need to be able to whitelist that from Nightbot. All right, um, I need to actually go do some things here because otherwise I've been chatting a lot, which is fun, but we're not going to get anywhere near completion here if we don't actually do things. So I want to have that going. Let's grab some leafy things. Kind of like around the edges of this uh, brand new interchange. This is what he posted. Now, the game seems to like to generate traffic from one side of the map to the other, say north to south. Nidal doesn't have a road all the way through, does it? Uh, maybe they're trying to go across the map, but can't. So they exit the same way they entered. Oh, that actually would explain it. Yeah, no, we, we the only two roads that we have are literally on the same side of the map. Like they're, they're both coming from, actually they might be coming from the other side. No, never mind. They're co both coming from like right from here because this is the only island that has that touches the edges of, of the map. So yeah. Uh, what was I doing? I was putting down trees, right? Yeah. So what I think is going to happen is in the next stream, uh, I'm going to like actually start putting the details on the dam itself. So right now I just want to start wrapping things up by just adding trees and rocks and things of that nature. Makes no sense to you? Yeah, I think it's just like a way of, of keeping the city alive. But obviously I'm, I'm, I have a very sort of edge case here, so I'm not totally mad at why traffic is spawning like that. This is a good solution though, except it has way more traffic than it should have, right? A power generation thing facility of, of this kind should have this type of uh, traffic flowing, but yeah, I'm, I'm okay with it. We'll forgive them. They made the best city building game ever, like Colossal Order did, so I can't, it can't be too hard. With like a team of what? I think it was like five people when they started? Or something like that. They were they were very small. Uh, we 
should probably add a few more here. Actually, this one that's kind of sitting there, probably not safe. And this one is just floating up in the air, so let's move it up in there. Now, another thing that I was thinking is like, okay, so now that I have the dam here, like this road, I guess this road can technically be connected to this place, but it will, I think it will be used as a bypass. I guess I can block traffic too if I really want to, but yeah, I might need to actually get a road going in here connected to this lane and only allow certain vehicles or straight up just block all traffic. Well, we'll see about that, probably, probably in the next stream. Revo says, nice tracks. I don't know, they, they don't look very good. Yeah, the, the guys working on this mod are kind of like, eh, they're, they're, they're like okay. They're like slightly better than vanilla, but not not all that much. <laughs> uh, seriously, dude, the great work you guys did with this. And also the trains, I'm not, I'm not gonna lie. Here, oh, here it comes. Yeah, nice train. You know what, I, I think, Rebo, I think I'm gonna upgrade this to electric and, cause I know this is a diesel engine, but I'm gonna start using the electric, uh, the electric one. Oh, Josh, you're so nice. Thank you. I'm, I'm glad you're, you're, you're enjoying the, the streams, man. Thank you. Thank you for all the gift of subs and, and, and the, and the mini bits. I tend to uh, reinvest almost everything I make on, on my channel back into, you know, better production quality. I have lights. I don't know if you noticed, but I have like decent lights now. Um, and even as the sun is setting, it should still be like not totally blown out as some old live streams I did. <laughs> not so long ago, actually. Only, only a handful of months ago. Okay, this needs to be fixed, I think. Because there's like a, a bit of a bump here. So I think three spots is probably good enough to get us nice, gentle slope going. Everything is so fast when you're playing at 100%. Bring it down to like 50. That makes things a bit more realistic. Um, I kind of gave up on the on the markings here. You know what? I'm not huge huge fan of this. I'm gonna get rid of them. Just keep the the regular regular uh, white lines, and maybe we'll we'll add some some barrels, some traffic barrels. Good thing is that now I can copy this, perhaps, and it will match. It never matches. Of course, it never matches, but. Close enough. Something like that. Yeah, it could be an abandoned road. I think, yeah, that's kind of what I was thinking. Like maybe put some jersey berries and, gr and grass kind of growing from below because it hasn't been used in forever or something like that. Uh, by the way, uh, Revo, if you're still around, I would like some suggestions for this bridge because I know you have like some custom bridges for, um, I guess I can actually just try a few different ones. Which one would make the most sense here? Oh, I like that one actually. Dude, these are some nice bridges. <laughs> Josh with another gifted sub. Thank you so much. And James, welcome. Uh, thank you for, uh, for being a new sub automatically, I guess. <laughs> um, you can enjoy the emotes, and, and uh, if you have uh, Discord and it's linked to your Twitch account, you can now get access to the server, the private server that we have. Eventually, that's going to be public to everyone, um, 
but uh, and obviously uh, patrons and Twitch subs will have their own private server separated from everything else. But I'm still sort of testing things, and I just figured, hey, let's let's test things out uh, just by allowing uh, Twitch subs and um, and patrons, and and also Discord is really going to be the way that Twitch subs will also get access or early access to my videos as they come. Usually, like between 24 to 48 hours. Uh, before they go live on on my youtube channel obviously not the live streams the live streams are you know <laughs> as they happen but uh yeah that's kind of what i was uh planning on doing all right let's get one of these segments in here There we go, that's much nicer. I wish that the game would did would do this automatically. Instead of I know it's like the network that does that and not necessarily like a game thing. I just wish that, yeah. Like this empty thing wasn't a thing. There we go. So actually might be able to to play this one now? Actually, the curve goes the other way, but yeah, it's fine. We can nudge it in place and it should be okay. Let's get the stupid line selected if I can. Uh, cuboid again sorry to uh, bug you but like what was the shortcut that allows you to like select what's underneath and uh, and move it i'm asking too much yeah i know i'm always but here's the thing i've been asking a lot and most of the things that i've been asking were actually materialized <laughs> so well, i'm just gonna keep asking for them I do ask for reasonable things, though. I, I think. I don't know. Control tab. Okay. Oh, control. Oh, I'm never going to remember that. I need to, like, remember to maybe write it down or something. So, like, if I do this. Oh, I see. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, it's gonna take some trial and error to, to figure out, but thanks, that's actually really useful. Uh, these two are kind of clipping, there we go, it's much better. Alt at four. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Alt at four is not gonna work because like the game doesn't really quit. <laughs> It will take a while, and I might be able to even save my game. So, good, good try though. Uh, there was a okay. I've heard some alerts that I think I missed. So, Josh uh, gifted another sub. Thank you so much for that. Swedish Salmons, welcome to the stream. You're the latest sub uh, uh, on behalf of Josh, and then uh, David uh, with the Prime sub. Welcome to the stream as well. Enjoy, enjoy the new. Or I guess the old toaster emote, but it's new to Twitch, I guess. So I was thinking of adding like the really old toaster logo that I had, but I never quite like that logo. The one, the one that's uh, that's an emote right now is like it, I wasn't like not super upset about. <laughs> like I actually still like it because I put a lot of effort into making it, it, it was all done in like, in Illustrator and, and like isometric, like I did a whole thing so that all the lines will be like perfectly aligned. I just spent way too much time on that logo, but I'm glad I'm, I'm still able to use it. <laughs> all right, so here we go. Uh, by the way, um, in the next uh, couple of weeks, before actually before the month is over, 
I guess it's not a very long month anyways, but um, I'm planning on doing a live stream of a game. I kind of like mysteriously tweeted about this and obviously I'm gonna keep the mystery on this statement that I'm making right now, but I'm gonna be doing a collab live stream with some people that I've never called up with. Uh, and it's gonna be on a game that I haven't played in a long time. So something to keep in mind. If you wanna be notified when that goes live, uh, there's two things you can do. One, follow me on Twitch. <laughs> And the other one, follow me on Twitter, because that's where I'm going to announce it probably uh, a couple days before it goes live. So, yeah. I have a whole series on that game from from a long time ago. And we're going to give it a shot at, uh, at playing it live on, 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 on stream, basically. Yeah. All right. This is looking good. I'm liking this. I guess I'm missing this one and this one next. And we should be good to go, at least on this side of things. Uh, right. Let's do this. I have not played Civilization. I have not played GTA. Open GTD, perhaps. Can't can't confirm or deny. I've been people have been guessing Planet Coaster. Have been guessing SimCity Four. I guess, yeah, SimCity 2013, someone guessed. Yeah, but the person who guessed said, like, I hope you're not going to play SimCity 2013. I don't know, maybe I will. What do you guys think? Should I play SimCity 2013? Okay, I'm doing control tab, but it still wants to select the other thing. FIFA, <laughs> Farmville. Farmville is kind of sandboxy, isn't it? I guess that would make some sense. You know, I'm, I'm, the only version of FIFA that I play was FIFA 96. And I just like straight up revealed my age. Not that I'm hiding or anything. I'm 33, 34. I can't remember. I think I'm going to be 34 this year. Um, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of soccer games, to be honest. I love playing soccer, just not watching soccer and or playing games related to soccer. Unless it's Rocket League. I do like Rocket League a lot. In fact, didn't I do... No, I didn't stream Rocket League. I streamed CSGO this one night because, like, I was playing Minecraft and the server went down. <laughs> that was That was random. I think I'm not using the control tab feature very well because it, it's kind of hit or miss. Like right now I'm trying to select the thing, but it's like selecting the other thing. Oh, there we go. Okay. Maybe I'm not understanding what it's actually doing in the background. That may, <laughs> that may be the issue. You thought I was 21? Really? Are you serious? Just look at me. This does this look like the face of a 21 year old? Maybe the the uh, maturity of a 21 year old, but not necessarily the actual face. Sorry, just just wanted to make a point. That's why I switched to the main camera. Also to like showcase the sweet stinger transition that I have that appears to be working fine now. You missed my duels with Sad. Yeah, that was that was a, a long time ago. He was in the chat the other day. Uh, when uh, I don't, I think it was like a couple weeks ago. I I do miss his um, the tycoon news uh, videos that he used to make. Those were like, like actually I didn't have to do a lot of research on things because he made those. Uh, it was like really useful, like a bunch of random games. And I'm like, oh wow, I'm actually be really interested in playing this game. And it wasn't one of those like clickbaity like compilations that people do these days where like they don't even bother with commentary they just have like automated generated voices like oh my god why do people watch those videos i don't understand 
they have like millions of views too, which is insane. Okay, so we have the markings done. No, actually, no, we, we, we're not. We're not done yet. It's kind of oddly satisfying though, just connecting the lines. At least it, it is for me, I don't know. I'm 2100. Thank you. That's that's great. Just cause I played Just Cause too. Actually, it's fun. I like driving around. Honestly, I haven't played any of the missions, uh, any of the missions. But uh, it is a fun game. The one, the actually the game I'm really looking forward to, which has unfortunately it's like not very related to my channel at all. So I probably won't record videos or anything. It's uh, Trials. Jack was playing Trials the other day, and uh, I mean, he got like a sneak peek on the beta version a couple weeks back, and he posted a video on YouTube recently, which you should totally follow. Um, or you should subscribe to if you're watching our uh, Stoneblock series together. Uh, actually, it should probably connect the line, right? Uh, YouTube.com slash Jack Patillo, by the way, if that's if you didn't know what the link was. Um, but what was I saying? Oh yeah, so Trials. Um, Trials Rising is coming up uh, in a couple weeks and I like it a lot. It's just, it's like one of those games that's very satisfying. I do enjoy watching people more than playing it myself, but I did end up buying Trials Fusion, which is the old version, just like a couple days ago. <laughs> and I'm probably gonna buy Trials Rising because even though I get free keys to games, like, pretty often, I haven't gotten... I, I don't think I will get keys for those kinds of games. <laughs> my my, conne my connections in the gaming industry are, are, are kind of limited to the sandbox sort of games. And I do get a lot of crappy games as well. Like, keys for crappy games, like, every week. It's more like... At this point, it's more like spam than actual that things that I'm that I even care I did post um, one thing I did the other day because I was kind of pissed about the amount of the volume that at least one of these companies was just emailing me constantly I never replied to one of their emails but um, what what I ended up doing is all the keys that they sent me I uh, I just post them on on my patreon page <laughs> uh, and a whole bunch of people just claimed uh, a whole bunch of those so that was fun I'll probably do that again at some point. I mean, why not? Just unsolicited emails. There we go. All right. I'm not going to do double lines there, but that works fine. And I think, yeah, I did the same thing over here. All right. That was some lane work done. Uh, I think I need to actually probably complete this as well. I might do double length here. Let's grab one of these nodes. And this other node. I got it's yeah. This is much thicker than the other one. There we go, that's not, they don't need to be perfect. It's just close enough that they will look like double lines. And uh, something like that. I heard some, some bits from Josh or I saw from like the corner of my eye. Yeah, yeah, the, the people at Rooster Teeth are, 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 are fun, fun set of uh, dudes and dudettes. Oh wow, you're still making jokes about my age? Really? Come on guys, grow up. What are you, 21? So much detail for one area? Yeah, that's, yeah. It's kind of like the whole point of my, 
of my series. But like, so here's the thing. I'm, I'm gonna reveal. I kind of mentioned this before, so I'm not gonna. It's not gonna be a shocking revelation. But I usually, when I'm streaming, I tend to pay way more attention to things. Like I, I would detail things way more than I would otherwise do when I'm recording a regular episode. Just simply because you're like there with me watching exactly what I'm doing. And uh, in other parts of the city, I would just put buildings. It's not like I want like I won't add any details, but I may not go as crazy. Like may, I may not add all the lanes and all that stuff in other parts of the city, if that makes sense. So yeah, let's, uh, let's grab some bushes here and try to decorate this part a little bit more. I kind of want to hide these sort of edges here. So we could just have something like this. It kind of serves as a fence as well as the uh, like a barrier for cars to not drive into the water to some degree, of course. I actually want to be able to fit a fence there. What kind of fence can I put in here that would make sense? Actually, you know what? What we need here is a guardrail. That's technically what we should be doing. And uh, this is the reverse order, so. Oh man, I remember when, when cities came out, like you couldn't, there was no way to like reverse the order of roads. Like you had to place them the right way the first time when, or you were screwed. <laughs> Dry uh, breakwaters will work there. Dry breakwaters. Oh yeah. If only I knew who this guy was who created these 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 rocks. <laughs> uh, yeah, you're right. This this could work here. Yeah, let me let me fix this first. Um, I guess we're gonna need to keep this very close to. to that and oops there we go that's not too bad uh let's add some uh i guess we can add some barrels now yeah, i forgot about those Don't, don't need to remind me, Josh. I'll, I'll put some barrels for you, sir. <laughs> Just a few there and uh, a few on this side. And um, I think we can put... Actually, so here I don't think we need them all that much, but we do need some. I guess yeah, if we add guardrails, we're gonna need some. So let's add some some guardrails. This should be relatively easy. Just three point system start kind of thing. So we can do that, that, and come on, let's go. That there we go. Not too shabby. Let's grab some of those barrels from the one and only Daza. Something like that. This, these are kind of like American looking barrels, but I think works just fine. Get the other guardrails in place. Why do I always put them the wrong way? Let's put them the right way. <laughs> yeah. 
let's make this quick turning point for all this traffic near the gas station and suddenly a dam, a massive interchange with barrels and a freaking river that flows into the place and into the lake or whatever this body of water is. Yeah, I know. Yeah. So this is the issue. If you're, if you're trying to get into city skylines, this is what happens. You start with something tiny in mind and then you go insane. Because you can't stop. And I feel the same way about about Minecraft. That's why I like Minecraft so much. Because it's just like, okay, now I'm done with this. But like now I need to like actually improve this other thing that I thought I didn't have to improve. What's the difference between these two? Oh, this is like an actual row of barrels. I see. That's handy. Cool. But I mean, that's that's a hell of an, that's way better than what I was originally thinking of doing, if, if I do say so myself. All right, so I think, um, unfortunately I'm gonna have to wrap this one up soon because I've been streaming for, for quite a bit of time. And uh, I'm just gonna place a few of these here alongside this, this fence. And uh, I'm probably gonna be streaming again next uh, Saturday, basically the same time. Uh, 10 a.m. Pacific time, 1 p.m. Eastern time, and uh, I think it's 6 p.m. UTC. Um, so if you want to be notified of that, you should probably follow me on um, on Twitch, twitch.tv slash strictoaster. If you're watching this uh, VOD on YouTube, that it's, you know, the, the way to, to find... Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go to the city in a second. I just wanna just wanna plug all my social media accounts first. Um, yeah, to be notified when I when I stream, just head over to twitch.tv slash strictoaster. And uh, usually I kind of make the decision of, of streaming like between 24 to 48 hours in advance. So um, it's best if you also follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash strictoaster. And uh, let's see what else. And yeah, and for those of you who are watching on, on, on Twitch live right now, you can also go check out my channel. Nidal, this, this city is a part of a series that I started on YouTube and it's still pretty much going on on YouTube. So uh, if you wanna catch up and see how I built this whole thing that I'm about to show you, you can head over to youtube.com slash strictoaster. Or if you go to strictoaster.com straight up, you have links to everything I did so far right there. So this, it's night all for those of you just joining in later in the in the stream. It's a European themed city, which is a very much still a work in progress. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of areas that are you know yet to be worked with. But uh, Chad, this is your chance. What part of the city would you like me to show you? Any any preferences? Anything that you kind of missed on a on a on a video that I couldn't quite capture and you still want to get more out of. Also, the frame rate is terrible. That's just usually how modded City Skylines works. In case you've never been to one of this uh, set of streams. It's not my computer, it's a game. Non-spoiling future plans you can tell. I mean, I've been talking about future plans a lot. Um, the one thing that we started the stream with is the tall buildings that we had here. I ended up removing them because uh, I think I want to keep them below the height of this, uh, the Aspire, ins Inspire, Aspire of the church. Basically the uh, tallest point of this church will sort of be the tallest point of the city or the clock. I think they're pretty much the same, but I feel like this one is a little bit taller than that. So this area right here is going to have some medium to high density buildings, but they're not going to be any higher than this probably. And these are all vanilla buildings, by the way. Uh, I'm definitely going to get better buildings from the workshop. I'm not just going to only use vanilla, but that's what I'm thinking of. I still have to also figure something out for this area, which is basically the one thing that's preventing me from being from completing this this part. I, I don't know how to properly address this. I don't know if I want to have like an actual beach with sand or maybe have like a marina of sorts. I don't know. Need to figure that out. Uh, I also talked about expanding suburbs towards this side of the city, obviously towards this side of the city as well. And we're probably going to have a medium density sort of town here again. So it's going to transition from medium density here to low density here to medium density back again on this shoreline. 
And somewhere here, there's going to be harbors for cargo as well as, which should also ease with traffic uh, congestion, uh, congestion. Yes. Um, we also have an industrial area that we need to develop here. Another thing that we're probably going to be doing is converting all this rail to electric, uh, even though we have like a segment here of electric uh, tracks because I think I disabled catenary replacer. Uh, I didn't think I was going to need it because I'm using all these new tracks, but I guess this one vanilla segment that's still here that I can't remove, otherwise the station will stop working. Uh, another thing that's coming is uh, the trams that uh, we've been working on with Jay. Uh, I think we're trying to come up with a shorter version of this to avoid the issue that's about to happen. Maybe I can show you, like here, for example. Pay attention here. When this turns, because of how long this thing is, it kind of like destroys the diaphragms in the in the middle so we're trying to figure out a way to make this like maybe split these in half that way it's like a five part sort of segment uh of a tram and that would potentially avoid that but yeah those, those are some of the i guess future plans right here a marina will make sense, but I don't know if I want to have the marina right here, which I guess I may have want to do, uh, or like somewhere out there. But I feel like it's going to be more protected here, right? Like I think this may may make more sense. Uh, thank you, Maddie, for the for the good stream and the claps. Much much appreciated. Um, yeah, I think uh, I think that those are, those are the the immediate plans that I have. I have some more spoilery stuff. But I don't want to spoil them, so yeah, I guess I'll be quiet about those. Uh, like I said, in the next stream, probably, uh, hopefully, I'll I'll be able to record another episode this week. I may have not, I may not have time to do that because I'm working on this like other video that I mentioned at the beginning on, of this stream. That's actually taking a bit more time, but in the next stream, definitely going to be finishing that dam over here, this damn dam that we started working on. Holy crap, Josh with the 1500 bits uh, saying, I really like your content. I hope to catch up more of your streams. Please stream more Tuesdays and Wednesdays. So <laughs> I'm definitely going to be streaming streaming Wednesdays, but Tuesdays, uh, fortunately, I, I, I actually go play soccer at night. So I won't be able to play uh, or stream on Tuesdays. But Wednesdays, we it's our, our regular Minecraft uh, schedule. So th those those will, will definitely come. And thank you so much for the bit and all, all the... Um, all the gifted subs. You've been super generous today, sir. And uh, hopefully uh, you have a great rest of your weekend. And to everyone else who's, who's watching, I think uh, I think I'm gonna wrap things up. I do wish you as well uh, a great rest of your weekend. And uh, if uh, if you enjoyed this, uh, this stream, please consider subscribing to both my channel, follow me on Twitter, as well as follow me on Twitch. That way you get notifications next time I go live. But uh, yeah, that's all for now. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.